Oh god, <laughs> I thought I was gonna get the cough out of the way. Oh. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome. Uh, I figured since tonight was a little later, um, it'd be a little more chill. If we get really bored, <laughs> I'll just put on a like a cozy game that I got that we can have on on the background while we chat. Um, I was gonna look on how to put my little my little self in like a blanket and stuff. Let me let me see if I can figure that out. Let's see. Ooh, it's somewhere in all of these things that I haven't played with. Not that one. Let me see. Let me see. Here's a bed. I don't want to put myself in a bed. Let's see. What if we do this one? Okay. Oh, we're getting somewhere. Hello, welcome, pizza. Welcome. One second. I'm trying to figure out <laughs> how to do these things. Oh, I need to enhance outwards. I see. Oh, maybe I need to make myself smaller. Oh, oh. It moves with me? Oh, let's fucking go. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> I thought, um, I had seen other ones where it didn't move with the person, but I don't know. I thought this would be fun. We like chat and we chilling. This is cute. This is cute, right? Cute, cute. You're welcome. Oh, God. Uh, it like jiggles a little too much. <laughs> uh, hello. What, uh, what other fun things can I put on? Let's see. I could put, hmm. Where's my drink? Oh, I can put my water on. Yeah, let me give me let me get my water. Oh, that's big. Let's put it right there. Does it show up if it's that low? There we go. Stay hydrated. Perfect. Now we're all set. <laughs> and now, I thought today, since we're like hanging out a little later, it'd be like just a chill, comfy, cozy kind of stream. And just like talking and stuff. And then if we get really bored, which we probably will, let's be honest. <laughs> I have some like really chill games that I can like put on in the background and stuff so we can like hang out and do those too. Yeah, I just I figured it's like a later night and um I'm still kind of tired from yesterday <laughs> and then I did a whole lot of stuff um around the station like a lot of cleaning and getting stuff ready for the week. So when I was making my schedule this morning, I was like, mm, I think I need a, I need a little more of a chill day, honestly. <laughs> That's what today is. That's my first time using a lot of these cute little thingies. I could put more on. You want to go fucking crazy? What else can we put on? Let's see. Uh, we'll put an egg on. We love egg. Here, we'll put it on top, right between the ears. Does that move with us? Ooh, oh, it attacks to my head, so it like moves through the blankie. Yes, perfect. I'll just keep putting stuff on more and more. Why not, right? <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I thought today we'd just chill and chat and stuff. Um, I don't know. Most of my chatting and chilling is like not gonna lie, probably gonna be about anime, <laughs> since that's what I do most of the time when I'm not hanging out with you guys. Let me let me take a bow to my 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 brownie. Mmm, yummy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm a little late because, oh my god, my mouth's so full. I, I bet I sound like gross. One second. Oh. What anime do I like? Mm. I like a lot of different genres. Like, the only genre I don't really watch a lot of, to be honest, is probably mecha. Um, I There hasn't been a lot of good mecha that I found. I know it's out there, but um, it's just really not the genre for me. Like I, I tried uh Code Geese ass when it <laughs> when it came out, and I think I I was a little too like baby AK to really understand what was going on with it or under <laughs> like care. So I think we like Code Geass. I stopped after like the third episode. I've been meaning to go back because I'm sure it's aged and stuff, but I know people really like it still. Um. And then what else? And then the same thing happened with, like, Gurren Lagann. Like, I <laughs> I watched probably, like, five or six episodes of that. And then I just got bored. And then I just kind of stopped watching it. <laughs> That's usually what happens. Um, like, Dragon Ball Spy Family. Spy Family is really good. I, I have nothing against, like, really mainstream anime. Like, I'll watch stuff that's really mainstream, too. And I, I genuinely like Spy Family. I really like the characters and um, their little antics and stuff. So as long as it's entertaining, even if it's mainstream, it's good. Um, like, for a little bit, I was into My Hero, probably, 
maybe by like the fourth season. I think I watched the fourth or fifth season is when I kind of fell out of my hero because I don't know, I just kind of fell out of it and I felt like stuff was taking way too long for anything important to happen. And I say that, but like, I'm a huge One Piece fan. <laughs> and, you know, One Piece takes its time, but also, like, a lot of stuff happens in One Piece where I feel like with my hero, not a whole lot of stuff happens or anything that's really important or <laughs> relevant. Um, so that's my issue. But I watch, like, kind of a little bit of everything, honestly. I'm trying to think. What's the, the thing I've started most recently is um, Magic Knight Ray Earth, which is an older Clamp series. Clamp is really, really a big group. They do things like Card Captor and Subasa Chronicles, uh Holic, um Babylon ninety one or Tokyo Babylon one ninety one, something like that. What else do they do? Um Blood Blood C or is it Blood Plus? One of those. But Clamp does like a whole lot of different things. And I remember I had watched a little bit of Ray Earth when I was younger and I own um, a lot of Clamp stuff now, they make those, like, mega release volumes, and I own the second mega release volume, <laughs> um, and I was like, well, maybe I should go back and watch the anime. Um, it's definitely <laughs> aged. <laughs> it's not bad. Um, I think some people would watch it and say it's bad, but I, I don't think it's bad. Oh, whoa, wait, what's going on down here? That's not my tweet there. One second. Let me live edit this. How do I? Yeah, yeah. Beep, beep, beep. Bing. right there there you go that's why there's nothing in there so that way I could change it <laughs> um, but it, it's its age the whole premise is um, these three girls and stuff they um, they're on a school field trip one day to Tokyo Tower and then they hear the voice of this princess emerald from uh, the land of Sephiro, Sephiro. And they're tasked with coming to this land, learning magic, becoming the magic knights, and defeating um, High Priest Z Zagato, who's imprisoned the princess and is taking over. Um, so it's like an older isekai series before isekai stuff got really, really big. And it has a lot of charm points, and I like a lot of stuff for it, and it's also Magical Girl, so that helps. <laughs> um, and it's got, like I said, oh, my neck. Oh, oh wiggle, wiggle. Um, interesting concepts, but it kind of also, I think the read would be better because the pacing is not really great. <laughs> um, I think there's like a lot less content. Like the first season of Ray Earth is 20 episodes, which isn't a whole lot for a first season. And I think with the second season, it's like a total of 50 episodes, but it's not a whole lot of volumes for that episode count. So <laughs> it's not bad. I'm, I'm enjoying it. It's just, you know, it's not great. <laughs> Let's see, what did you say? One Piece fans be like, trust me, the show gets good. I I disagree. I think One Piece gets good <laughs> as a real One Piece fan from episode one. <laughs> um, what I tell a lot of people is if you can watch to the end of the first arc, which is East Blue, which is about 50 episodes, and if you still don't like it, then it's it's a hard sell at that point because gets a lot more serious later on it still has its goofy side but if if you aren't liking it by east blue and you aren't liking the main cast and the struggles they've gone through already before even getting to the main portion of their adventure in my mind it's like you're probably not gonna like the rest of one piece which is really sad because i i love the series i've grown up with one piece um like i remember when it was on four kids <laughs> which is like super old um if you don't know, 4Kids was a company that um, basically they would dub anime, but also other Western cartoons like from Europe. And the whole thing was to make them more kid friendly, which is a little counterintuitive because there already are cartoons and anime specifically geared towards children. And like like Shonen Jump stuff is technically geared towards like elementary to middle school. Hello, welcome. We're starting with the One Piece rant again. <laughs> um, Oh, I was talking about uh, four kids to explain why I love One Piece so much and like how long I've been watching One Piece and reading One Piece. <laughs> um, but yeah, so they would take stuff and it'd be a wide range of things like Shaman King, Sonic, Magical Doremi, Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, uh, they had like one of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, um, Tokyo Mew Mew. Um, oh god, there's other stuff too. But that was like the peak of four kids, right? Um, Hello, welcome everybody. Welcome, welcome. Hello, we're, we're doing it. You know, it's an anime TED talk. <laughs> um, but they would 
license these shows, but they would do what a lot of early licensing companies in America did, where it would be really heavily censored. So there's like plenty of screenshots. If you just go on the Googie and you look up four kids, um, one piece comparisons, you'll see. <laughs> like as a child, I didn't notice as much. Like they had rules where you can't see the main character punch somebody in the face. So any of those shots would get cut from episodes. Um, the guns, um, which to my child brain at least made sense. Like I logic it as a child. They would replace all of the guns with water guns. But, you know, at the same time in One Piece, they also have the rule where devil fruit eaters, like, if they touch seawater, they lose their powers and get really weak. So in my brain, I was like, oh my god, these marines are so smart. <laughs> you just, you shoot the chem like the criminals with saltwater loaded water guns, and then they're in trouble. <laughs> and, like, one guy, Captain Smoker, his, he has a power to turn into, like, smoke, which is a, a rarer type. Like, elemental types are considered rarer and stuff. Um... But on his armbands would be, like, rows of cigars because he smokes. <laughs> what a funny guy. So for kids, their fix would be, like, they edit out the cigar in his mouth, so his mouth would just be open and smoke's coming out. So you're just like, oh, okay. Like, he's, like smoke powers mean, like, it escapes his body. But they wouldn't edit out the cigar armbands. <laughs> so they're really inconsistent with the edits. Like, dialogue would get censored. Um, things like that. But at the same time, it introduced a lot of, like, you know, us old people to like a lot more anime. Um, like I said, like Doremi, Tokyo Mew Mew, One Piece, um, like Digimon and all those kind of things would be on there. And like, not even a hot take. This is, if anybody argues with me, I'll fight them. All of the four kids opening songs that they made were absolute fucking bangers. <laughs> like, like the One Piece rap is so iconic. The Tokyo Mew Mew, like original. Oh, what's the line? It's like, it's hard to save the world when you're falling in love and me as a child's like, me too. <laughs> and stuff like that. Oh, there's such good songs. Shaman King has a really good one. I, I think I know like all of the ones I watch their songs by heart still. <laughs> Maybe one day we'll do just a four kids song karaoke when I get a better mic because they're just so good. Uh, sorry, let me see what people have been typing because I've been ranting. <laughs> Let's see. About the live action, um, yes, I am. I know people are the way they are. I know I am one of those people too. When I see like live action anime stuff, I'm like, ooh, gross, icky live action. <laughs> but I, oh my god, I watched the teaser trailer and I started tearing up and I was just so excited. It was like starting One Piece all over again. <laughs> And I think there's a, a larger portion of like the really dedicated One Piece fandom that really is super excited and into it. And it, it's totally fine if you're skeptical. I think it's totally fine to go into anything that is something you like or something that's a new adaptation on a piece of media that you really enjoy. I think it's super valid to be skeptical, right? I'm not saying it's going to be perfect. But I just, the amount of care and love that went into this, the fact that Oda himself was like, basically, if he didn't approve it, then it wasn't going to happen. And it's like, if he approved it, that means he also sees the vision that the live action's going through and stuff. Um, uh, me, when I saw Zoro, oh, fuck God, the guy that plays Zoro, I think his name's Taz. I have to go learn all their names. Oh my God, he's so high. <laughs> It just, it was so, uh, it was so nostalgic. And like, I've rewatched the first probably like 200 episodes of One Piece several times because I get friends into it. And then we get to that point and I'm like, it's your turn now. Just take the torch. You just run with it. And then they just stick with it. <laughs> but I'm just so excited. It looks so good. And then I saw, oh, it made my heart hurt even more. I saw, um, they had the actors reacting to the teaser because they hadn't seen it yet. And the guy, Anaki, I believe his name, or they call him Kiki is his nickname. The guy that plays Luffy, who was crying watching the teaser. And I, it just hurt. It was so, like a good hurt, right? <laughs> like I was so excited and it just, uh, I'm so glad that they're all so excited too. Oh, okay. Sorry. I'm, let me go back and read. Oh, okay. Hold on a second. The Yu-Gi-Oh! Four Kids dub is un like unironically. Yes, it's so good. And, like the only sad thing is, from what I know, is with the Yu-Gi-Oh! Four Kids dub is they took out the part where Yugi almost kills a kid. But you know, <laughs> we can't all be winners. Uh, hello, Toxic. Oh my God, I'm sorry, I didn't say hi to people. Hello, Poey. Hello, Mayo. Um, let's see. My favorite fact is that the DBZ Four Kids dub renamed the Spirit Bomb and Gallic Gun to Spirit Blast and Gallic Blast. Yeah, anything with guns they'd have to change. I know too in the Four Kids um, One Piece 
thing they would reanimate like actual hammers and they would like recolor them and style them to be like um those like squeaky hammers that you give like a three-year-old like things that aren't gonna hurt you and stuff like they they do a lot of editing i'm not gonna lie with the four kids stuff <laughs> like a lot of it and like a lot of um like tokyo mimu it's a magical girl show so obviously when they transform it's a silhouette of their you know their nakey bodies um <laughs> and so they would have to like really heavily edit the animations and stuff like that um and then a lot of shows for four kids, if it was a longer running one, after a certain point, they'd like lost the rights and stopped doing it. Like that's what happened with One Piece. They lost the rights at Skypea. And then as a child, I was like, oh, wow, they changed voice actors because the characters got older. <laughs> it's just Skypea is when like Funimation took over on the dub for One Piece and stuff. Let's see. Sanji. Ugh, we hate Sanji. <laughs> We, we love to hate Sanji. He's probably my least favorite straw hat, but you know what? Like, it's hard because they're all really good. I just, he's my least favorite personally. <laughs> I wonder how many episodes. I think, I was talking about this when we were playing Ghostwire, with what they're showing, like, they've cast a lot of people, but they haven't shown, like, anything for Arlong, right? So my thought is they're going to get to the point right after the Batissier arc, whatever, the fucking restaurant arc. <laughs> I think they're going to get to that. And then it'll probably end because supposedly it's only going to be eight episodes. So it's eight, like, one hour-ish episodes probably. Um, so obviously they're going to get to getting all the crew, but I, th I think it's going to stop before Arlong because that's a really deep arc. That That's a lot you have to do. Like, just the Arlong part of East Blue would probably need to be, like, two to three, like, hour-long episodes, I would think, me personally, right? So I, I don't think we're even going to get to that. I think we're going to get the crew together. And then the second, like, season will be the Arlong and then moving into the East Blue and stuff like that. Let's see, I remember I was a bit iffy about the DBG superheroes because of the dynamic art style change. Oh, that's fun. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, sometimes art style changes can be, like, really... <laughs> oh, hello, welcome, welcome. Do you like my little, <laughs> my little stuff I got on? I got my water, I put a blankie on, I got an egg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... But yeah, art style changes, or like art styles in general, can make it really hard to get into a series or anything. Let me take a bite of my brownie, a second. Uh, hello, welcome! Welcome, Silverick, to the Crowfish family. Hello, welcome! You've come on my first chat and chill day, where I will indoctrinate you all into my correct anime opinions. <laughs> oh, welcome! So Sanji is definitely not my favorite, but seeing him triggered feels about the show for me. Ugh, Usab? Ugh, thank god. I... I hate Usopp Slander. You're one of the good ones. I went to go see the, um, was the Stampede was the One Piece movie before Red. I went to see it in theaters, and there's that, I don't want to spoil anything, but there's a scene with Usopp and, like, Luffy, and it's so sad, and you're like, oh my god, Usopp. And this fucker, <laughs> in the theater, he's, like, laughing his ass off, and I just couldn't take it anymore. I'm not a silent person, so I was just like, yo, fuck you, dude. <laughs> and he was like, oh, <laughs> And I was like, yeah, you can't be, like, just fuck off. I was, like, tearing up at that point. I was like, you're the only person in this theater laughing. You're clearly the only person that doesn't recognize how much Usab has gone through and what a crucial member of the crew he is. Like, there's not one member of the crew that, if they were not there, that it, it would be fine, right? Like, everybody needs to be there. I don't know. Maybe angry. or angry. <laughs> um god i was talking about stuff what was i talking about obviously one piece but i don't want to make it all about one piece i i will i could have like 15 chills just about one piece so uh oh our boy so good king um I'll, I'll keep it about other stuff too i promise i promise i promise i was talking too about um I was, i'm watching ray earth again magic knight ray earth it's an older clamp magical girl series it's definitely aged <laughs> It's like it's cute and fun and stupid in the like '90s anime style that I like. Um, I if I would just read it instead of watching. Oh my god! Hello, welcome, welcome, uh, Rin Arthur. Oh fuck! No Roman numerals. Is that the seventh? Is that seven or is that twelve? Fuck! What, ki what kind of Kingdom Heart kid are you? <laughs> welcome. Thank you for joining. We're just talking about anime. Twelve. Oh, I got it on my second try. <laughs> You're welcome. Hello, hello, welcome. Uh, we're just doing anime today. I'm trying to, uh, it's going to be a lot of One Piece, but I'm going to try to be better, I promise. <laughs> we're just talking about all sorts of stuff. Um, let's see. 
God, I'm gonna cry. I cry every time. Like, ugh. okay, Crunchwrap has this video. Sorry, back to One Piece. <laughs> they released this video a, a few years back, and it's like, is it one or it, it's like five seconds or one? It's one or five seconds from every episode that was out at that point, and I watch that when I need a good cry because it's like. Oh my god, it's the going Mary and like Robin and just like everything and every time I need a good cry, like Nami, oh my god, every time I just need to like really just kind of de-stress with a cry, I put that video on and I'm just in tears. <laughs> like I'm not a person that cries a lot. I, I think I've gotten a lot more emotional or like I guess in tune with my emotions as I've gotten older. Um. But yeah, like I'd watch stuff and people like, did you cry? I'd be like, no. <laughs> but like One Piece is the first real piece of media out of like anything that I, I, I'm in tears when I watch it. There's just, I think it's because I've grown up with the show and I'm just so connected with the characters and their growth and their development. And I'm not saying One Piece is perfect. Uh, yes, it is. But <laughs> I know it's not. Let me, let me say B. But that doesn't mean I don't love it any less, right? Like, Oda has crafted such a meaningful story to just so many people in the world. And every time I'm like, wow, I'm one of those lucky people that gets to enjoy this series, right? Because who knows? One day the world could just end and all these people will have passed on not enjoying One Piece. <laughs> God, sorry. That's super dark. <laughs> um, God, what other anime do I watch? I watch a lot of different anime. Um... I was talking earlier, I watch a lot of different genres. The one one I don't watch is, uh, oh wait, keep spoilers, shh, shh, no, keep the spoilers away, shh, 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 just, just in case people haven't watched it and they want to watch it. I know everybody sees everything on the internet, but like, anything big, we'll, we'll try and keep it like hush hush, yeah, 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 okay, cool, 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 we good, we gamers, okay. <laughs> um, but anything pretty much that's not mecha I watch, oh yeah, I love Bleach, oh, Kubo Sensei, god. Uh, we love Kubo Sensei. Um, I'm I loved. I w I couldn't put it down. The new the um hundred thousand million blood arc or whatever. <laughs> oh my god, it was so, it was just so amazing watching it again. And of course, I had to watch it dubbed because I w grew up with a dub. I've never seen Bleach subbed. And just hearing like Johnny Young Bosch back as Ichigo and the whole cast back together. I just, I had goosebumps every episode. I was like grinning the whole time. And oh my god, the remix. <laughs> oh my god. The remix of Ichigo's theme is so amazing. Every time it comes up on my Spotify, I just can't stop smiling and I just like belt it out. I'm so excited. Um, and the new season's coming out at, like this year, right? I think this summer. I'm so excited to watch the next part of the million year blood whatever <laughs> i'm just so excited to watch it and i hope too with this new anime if there's anything extra kubo wanted to do with the ending because i know <sighs> the ending in the manga he had to rush it because he had issues with his editors <laughs> and stuff i'm hoping that he gets the chance to write like the proper ending that he wants for bleach like oh god i hope oh god oh I love One Piece. I love Bleach. I don't really like Naruto. <laughs> I like two thirds of the big three. I think that's good enough. Let's see. Have you watched Ass Ass Classroom? I tried Assassination Classroom. <laughs> um, I'm gonna try it again. I got to the point in the first season right after like the hot blonde teacher lady joins, and I just couldn't get into it. Um, I'm gonna try it again. I know people say it's really, really good, and when I have time, I'm gonna try and like push through and watch it some more because I know the next season's really good. Um, uh, yeah, I think it'll still be similar to the ending of the manga, but I, I think he probably wants to expand on it because I know it was something something where he was given like ten, five to ten chapters to wrap the whole series up, right? Like it was really rushed. So I'm hoping he gets to expand on anything he wants to expand on or just write it a little cleaner if he wants um yeah but i tried ass ass classroom <laughs> um i wasn't really into it which is funny because i watched all of like talentless nana i'm not saying they're one for one but i feel like it has kind of similar sort of themes and ideas going on and i really liked it's either useless or talentless whatever i keep mixing it up but i really like talentless nana a lot i had a lot of fun watching that um 
hopefully it'll get a second season eventually you know but if it doesn't then i'll just pick up the manga <laughs> that's what the manga is there for is when the anime doesn't continue we can like learn how to read god we love reading oh goodness okay let me take another bite of my brownie ow um, 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 um. I'm gonna get a little sippy of my milk too. Ah, uh, hello, welcome, lovers, welcome, welcome. You're just in time for my my what's ranting about anime. Let's see, what other anime do I know? I know a lot of anime. Come on, I watch a lot. I think I mentioned on my debut stream. On my Annie list, I have over 750 anime listed that I've finished. Hello, welcome, Photo. Hello. So I watch a lot. I, like I said, I try not to super limit myself to genre. I'm not a big mecha person. Um, but I try to watch, like, a lot of different stuff because I, I just like to try different things, you know? Yeah, there's a lot of anime that only have one season. Oh, God. We pray Skip Beat gets another season one day. <laughs> Um, oh, I'm good. I hope you're doing well. We're just hanging out. We're just chatting and chilling. Getting a little later night, comfy cozy kind of hangout session. I figured I was going to be too tired for, for, for pro gaming today because I got a lot of stuff around the station done today. We're just kind of vibing. Oh, yeah, we pray for more skip beat. There's so much skip beat content. <laughs> uh, it'd be so nice to even just get like one more season oh, just to see them. Oh. Was my Ichiban anime? Oh god. Ugh, I hate that question. <laughs> not, not because it's like anybody said it, but it's always with everything. People are like, what's your favorite? And I'm like, I, I don't know. I like a lot of different things. Like, if I had to pick a favorite, I probably would say One Piece. But I have a lot of different series I like. Like, for anime, series is probably One Piece for long running and stuff. For movies, my absolute all-time favorite anime movie ever is whispers of the heart which is a studio ghibli movie it's so good please go watch it i think i'm still working on the server sorry i haven't had any time to work on it <laughs> um, but i'd like to do a watch party of it sometime it's just it it's i've watched that movie dozens of times and every time i love it so much it's it's one of the ghibli ones that's grounded more in reality so more like um the wind rises where it's not so much on like the fantastical magical element and it's about our main girl um Chizuku, where she's in middle school, is at the point where, you know, you kind of have to start thinking about your future already, whether you want to or not. <laughs> um, but, you know, she's like, all I really like to do is read, and I, I don't really want to think about my future. I'm, you know, I'm like literally a kid. <laughs> um, and it's hard because, like, her parents, like, they, they, you know, keep reminding her her mom's going back for, like, more school, getting, like, an MBA and stuff like that. And even her sister came out of college and like it's all this pressure on her i think that's why everybody <laughs> a lot i think a lot of people relate like i went and did college i got that done bam bagged it but um and just her trying to figure out like what does she want to do with her life which is such a hard thing to even try and like conceptualize at such a young age like everybody says like oh i like you know writing or i like painting or i like math and it's like yeah and then you know, basically like two years later, okay, you need to start thinking about college and like what you want to do with your life and where you're going to be for the rest of your life. And I, it's just a really beautiful movie about trying to find yourself. Uh, hello, welcome. Um, hmm. Welcome, man. <laughs> uh, welcome, welcome. I don't want to call you the dumbest. I'm sure there's dumber people. Hello, welcome. I have a little banky on today because we comfy cozy. I haven't really used many of these little, little things in V-Studio. Oh, what else do we got in here? Let's put something else on. We'll just keep adding things. Let's put this on. Yeah. Hat the egg. Perfect. It moves with my egg. Even better. <laughs> we'll just keep putting shit on the screen. What else can we put on here? What else do we got? What else is in the arsenal? Well, you could put me in a gamer chair. Hello, gamers. Ooh. You can give me a snack. I'm eating a brownie. Yeah, uh-oh, not that one. This one. Wait, no, let me move the pudding. <gasps> no. Oh, God, wait, now you can't see me. Help. <laughs> Why do I move the pudding? Oh, there you go. Okay, put the blankie back on. Give me the pudding, scale it down. Put it right next to my water for my little snack. 
Oh, it jiggles with me. Yeah. Now we got the whole girl. Uh, hello, welcome, Santa. Welcome. I'm the dumbest man alive. Oh, I see, I see. Hello, we're just doing anime talking today. Ah. I can't. Well, I can put it in my mouth, maybe. Ah. Ah. For some reason, it prioritizes um, num, 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 the blankie over the pudding, even though the pudding is definitely, like, on top. Interesting. Anyway. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I, I really like the movie. I like all, like, all of the Ghibli movies, except, oh my fucking god, the worst, <laughs> the worst Ghibli movie is definitely, um, oh, I gotta fix my little blankie. Oh, there we go. The worst one for me is, um, um, it's, uh, Only Yesterday. I, I think, maybe again, I watched it when I was a little too young, so some of the stuff kind of went over my head, but... It's about a woman, like, reflecting on her youth, which can be a really interesting concept. It just, I don't know, I just really couldn't get into it. But, like, every other Ghibli movie I like, so, you know, it's fine. I also really like The Wind Rises. Again, it's another one that's grounded more in, like, reality and stuff, so I, I like that. I like all of the, the fantastical ones. Oh, I think the other Ghibli one I don't, <laughs> don't really like, and I know a lot of people like. Uh, yeah, we got the pudding today. Boing, 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 boing. Um, is... Ponyo, <laughs> which I know a lot of people really like Ponyo, and I really should like Ponyo because I love like all the ocean stuff and everything. Um, but uh, I don't know. I just I, I just I don't really like her. She's annoying. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, uh, Wolf Children. Sorry, not to uh, not to correct you or anything. Um, Wolf Children's technically not a Ghibli film. Um, it's by oh I have to look up the director. Oh, oh God, I got a googie. Um, it's not Ghibli, but that's okay. I, it's like, I think a lot of people, um, confuse it with, um, uh, a Ghibli film. It's by, what's his name? Oh, uh, Mamoru Hosoda. He's a really, really big director, too. He also did Summer Wars, um, Belle, and, um, one of the Digimon movies, like, one of the, like, original Digimon movies. And actually a One Piece movie, if I remember right. He did my favorite One Piece movie, um, Baron Otsumatsu something or another, the island one. It's really good. It's really fucking creepy. <laughs> no, it's okay. I think a lot of people get them kind of confused. But um, his movies are really, really good. Um, if you liked Wolf Children, um, like I said, he also has Summer Wars, which is like um, kind of like VR alternate world sort of thingy. And Belle also is kind of in that similar realm. <laughs> um, uh, he also did Boy and the Beast, but I haven't watched Boy and the Beast yet. But I know people like that one too. Let's see. Arcane is one of the best game anime. I actually haven't seen Arcane, which is funny because like uh, <laughs> I I like um, I like uh, League. I haven't played League in a while, but I, I meant to watch Arcane when it first came out, and then I just didn't, and I haven't gone back to it. <laughs> I know it's really good. I again, I've been meaning to. I just haven't. Let me bite on this crust of brownie. A little ASMR action. <laughs> Uh oh. Hello, welcome, D and D fan twenty two. Hello. Spirited Away and Totoro are the only Ghibli films I've seen. Oh, those are both really good ones. I think for a lot of, I'm not talking for everybody, but I think a lot of kids in D uh, Americas. I think those are probably honestly some of our first couple of Ghibli films that we got to see. Um, I've watched. Let me let me think. Um. I've watched Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind, Princess Mononoke, Spirited Away, My Neighbor Totoro, Ponyo, um, Whispers of the Heart, When the Wind Rises, The Cat Returns, which is also really good. Um, and what other ones have I watched? Um, when Marnie was there, um, there's a new Ghibli movie coming out, I think this year. I'm going to go see that for sure. Um, hmm. There's others. My mind is blanking. Why? I'm supposed to be a real anime kid. Uh, <laughs> oh, Pompoco, I've seen that, um, Porco Rosso, that's another one I really like, he's kind of grumpy, the main character, which is always good. <laughs> what other ones? I, like, I feel like the only Ghibli movies I haven't seen is, like, My Neighbors of Yamada. So, let's see, Ghibli films, let's go to Googie again. Oh, Googie, what do you say? Oh, Grave of the Fireflies, I've watched that too. That one will make you cry really bad. <laughs> It's about two siblings, um, 
Oh yeah, happy Pride, everybody! I hope you're all living your best life, being your true self, so whatever your true self may be. Happy Pride. Um, sorry to pivot back to the Grave of the Fireflies. It's really sad. It's about um two siblings trying to survive in like um World War One, World War Two era Japan. Um, it's really depressing. <laughs> Uh, I, I, I know I'm laughing, but it is a really, really rough watch. Um, I don't watch it if you're, like, faint of heart, honestly. Oh, Castle in the Sky. That's another one. That's a good one. Kiki's. How am I so blind? I love Kiki's Delivery Service, too. That one's such a cute watch. It's about the girl. Um, she's a witch, and she has to leave her town to go study to be a witch in another town for a year. It's really cute. I love it. Erased. Oh, <laughs> this is where I get canceled for my anime opinions. Um, I probably will never watch Erased. Oh, how true. Oh, God, our OG emo, edgy, <laughs> dramatic boy. <laughs> it's not really emo, but you know what I mean. Um, my hot take on Erased is I will probably never watch it because I have a very valid reason. <laughs> um, back when Crunchyroll first started their anime awards. <laughs> As a true JoJo fan, I nominated Kira, because <laughs> part four had aired, so it counted that year for the awards. That year, also, the main villain of Erased was nominated, and the main character of Erased won, or the villain of Erased won, whoever that is. I don't really care. <laughs> I, I asked some friends about it, and they were all like, yeah, it's good, but he shouldn't have won, and I was like, I know... So I have a grudge against a race because of the Crunchyroll first anime awards. <laughs> so I probably will never watch a race. Sorry. <laughs> Let's see. Berserk is nice, but bad animation. Is it the new Berserk or do you mean the original Berserk? Because the original Berserk, I can like give it a pass a little bit because that's from like the 90s or 2000s, right? I know the new Berserk is like, everybody says it's like hot garbage animation wise. Like, don't even bother. <laughs> Let's see here. Here's what I'm going to let me let me let me let me put me half screen. Hello, hello. Welcome. Uh, welcome planters. Hello. Yeah, everybody said the new one is bad. What about Spagan Spaganan? What is Spaganan? Oh, this is an anime too. I'm on the Googie. We're looking. It says it's also an anime. Let's see. Huh. Hmm. Didn't know about that one. Oh boy. Koino. Oh, A Silent Voice? Yeah, I really liked that one too. I really liked the movie, but I did like the manga a little bit more. I, I think the movie was really well done and really well handled, but there was just something about it I felt was um, missing, I guess is the best way to put it. I don't really know what I felt like was missing. It was still a really good adaptation of the source material. I really still liked it. I just, I felt like I wanted a little something more. I don't know what. <laughs> but I, I really liked uh, Silent Voice. It was really, really good. Hello, welcome, Baffa. We ranting, we ranting. We always ranting. Let me look at my, my Annie list. Let's see. Do you guys have other shows you want to talk about? Let me, like, just put them in the chat. And then there's a chance I've watched it or heard of it. And then let me, let me go to some of my top score anime. Because scores are, like, you know... It's all fake, right? <laughs> but I have my personal top <laughs> tens and stuff like that. Let's see. Ugh. Well, this is one thing I don't like about Annie List. Um, I get why they do it, but they separate it. Um, when you go to your like uh your catalog of series, it'll separate it from TV, anime to movies to OVAs and stuff like that. It'll change it on category. So technically, I have a lot more tens, but they're they don't show up right away. So I have to scroll. Um, let's see. What do I have listed as a 10? Oh, thank you for joining the family. Hello, welcome. I'm so glad my my <laughs> anime ranting is working and tricking some of you guys to stick around. The Tunnel to Summer. Okay, let me Google that. The Tunnel to Summer. The Exit of Goodbyes. Let me Google this. I don't recognize this. <gasps> a series I don't recognize? Oh, isn't this like... Oh, I have this on my planning. I'm looking at one of the um, the cover things right now. I heard two. Um, it's, what, like two movies or something? And then depending, like, which one you start with, it, like, will make the ending of the other one different. 
if I heard right from a friend. So it's like it depends like you have to pick which movie you start with and then it'll basically change um, how you perceive the second movie or something. I think. Oh, is that different? Uh, but I'm on Googie and Googie says, Googie says the tunnel to the summer that ends the exits of goodbye. And there's like a, a pink one with some girls at a crossing and then the other movie is it's like the middle of the day with some kids crossing. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. I'm doing good. I hope you're doing better still. Every day a little better. That's what we aim for. Let's see. Card Fight Vanguard. I, my friend, <laughs> I'm actually watching Overdress right now. Just the first season and stuff. People keep telling me that Crocodile is Luffy's mom. I don't know what to think about it. <laughs> I do know there's theories. Um, I'm behind on the manga a little bit. Um, but I do know there's theories that, like, like Yvonne and Crocodile know each other because maybe Crocodile got a little help from Yvonne with a little something something. Um, but I haven't seen that theory. <laughs> Interesting. Um, but yeah, I'm watching the first season of Overdress with a friend. It's honestly really fun. Um, I like it because it's a little more down the earth, but also just the right amount of like, God, if you die in the card game, you die in real life. And I still like that. But they're like goofy little kids, which I think makes it really fun. <laughs> Let's see, okay, what do I have for number 10? So I scored like 10 out of 10. Oh uh, yeah, it's lots of fun. I, we're just, I just, I'm like halfway through the first season of Overdress. Um, I'll probably watch more, um, but I haven't watched main card fight. The most recent other card fight anime I watched before that was probably like We Cross or We Cross, whatever that one was, because it's like cute girls playing card games with like cute little magical girl avatars, so that was up my alley. <laughs> Let's see, what do I have as tense? I have FMA Brotherhood, which, you know, that's a given. Don't fight me about it. <laughs> I like the original FMA as well. I think they both have things that are really good about each of them individually. I'm waiting for Spy Family. Oh, I'm, I'm excited for more Spy Family. And then Dress Up Darling. I really like Dress Up Darling too. I thought that was a really fun watch. I really loved it. Um, I thought Marnie was fun. I thought the other cosplay girls that she met were fun. And I liked how awkward Gojo was. <laughs> I like shows with awkward little boys. Um, that, that Sorry, that's really wrong. That's not what I mean. Um, like kids being awkward. That's what I meant. I'm sorry. I, I really enjoy it because it's like, wow. No, please. I'm sorry. I don't mean that. I really, really like big, buff, beefy 40-year-old men. I promise. I swear to God. I do not at all enjoy twinks or anything below the age of 25. <laughs> Please do not. I unironically, unironically, I don't, I don't like anything. <laughs> I swear. Oh God. <laughs> like I, my love of my life for the longest time was Zoro. Like that's that's what I'm into. Is big, beefy, and dumb. <laughs> like my current husband is is Juzo Anue. Oh God. Yeah. Like forty year old anime man oh, that looked like a little bit, a little, a little rough. Maybe a little potentially homeless. <laughs> Oh god, those are the ones. <laughs> oh god, they're perfect. Uh, that's what I'm here for. Listen, if he's gonna get me in trouble because he's probably broke and doesn't have money, but he's 40, that's fine. <laughs> it's good, I promise. What? What? They're hot. God, I don't know what to tell you. The heart wants what the heart wants. You put an eye patch on one of those like 40 year old homeless looking dudes, I'm gone. <laughs> God, eye patches, that's the real. Like everybody's like, ooh, I like these characters because they got these bangs or they got these cool clothes. I don't care. Eye patch, ten out of ten. <laughs> it's funny you mentioned Master Roshi because one time <laughs> at a convention I went to, I went to a game show panel that was basically like, um, it's not The Bachelor, it's that one where it's like you have one person blindfolded and you have three people that they can like ask, ask questions to, where it's like, oh, consistent one number one, what's your like go-to place for a first date, that kind of game show. And so we went and like Gay on Ice um, was really big, you know, Yuri on Ice, Gay on Ice, same thing. <laughs> and so one of the, the person that was picking, they were Victor, and then one of the three people they could pick from was, what's his name? Yuri? I, I don't know their names. I didn't watch it. Um, well, <laughs> so anyway, one of the, um, so anyway, it was going where the person that was picking was like basically feeding questions so they could get like the Yuri person. Boring. I get you, right? 
And then the Master Roshi, his turn came up and it was like, where would you take them on a private date? And he was like, I'd take you to my private tropical island with all the amenities. And everybody in the room was like, ooh. <laughs> and then at the end of it, the Victor person picked the Yuri person. And we were all clapping and cheering. And the Master Roshi, um, he was going to sit down. And then I couldn't handle it anymore. So I started screaming. was like, I'll go to your private island, Master Roshi. And the whole <laughs> room started cackling and dying. And everybody was having, ugh. I, the way I interject myself is like, I hope people have fun. <laughs> Listen, I mean, like, if you were blindfolded on a show and, like, somebody was like, oh, I have a private tropical island that I will take you to, <laughs> you're telling me you'd pick somebody that'd be like, oh, we go to, like, a katsudan pork bowl place over a private tropical island. Are you dying? <laughs> Sorry, this may be mean, <laughs> but, like, seriously. <laughs> like, I wasn't wrong. I wasn't wrong for my opinions. Let me take another bite of my brownie. Um... Let's see, what else should we put on me? Let's find something else to throw on. Let's see. More stuff. More stuff. More stuff. Hmm. Let's put this guy somewhere. Let's put him down there. Oh, I can put him on my hand. I hold him. There you go. He's just a little guy. There we go. Perfect. More stuff. <laughs> I'll just keep adding something every like 10 or 15 minutes until it's just an amalgamation. <laughs> Let's see. Mm. Oh my god, why am I big? I just look to the side. I'm getting my milk. Give me my milk. Let's see, what else do I have listed as a 10? My personal 10? Oh, licorice recoil. Yes, that's what I call it. <laughs> um, I started it and then I got busy, but I'm watching it with... um. My friend right now, we're on like the third episode. I really like it. Anime recommendations. Well, what kind of stuff do you like, right? Is there like a certain genre or is there even like a certain size you prefer? Like, would you like something that you can finish in a day or two, like a 12 to 24 episode? Do you want something that's just like that one season and it's done or it's going to have multiple parts? Um, is there any like themes that you like? Um because I, I could recommend a lot of different things, but I don't want to recommend something people don't like. Like, um, I would recommend more people watch um, Megalobox. I really loved Megalobox. I'm halfway through the second season, and I just, I still love it so much. I love the vibe it has of, like, a older, like, nitty-gritty, like, 90s anime, and the style and direction they went with, and it's just so cool. I really love Megalobox. <laughs> It's essentially like boxing anime, but it's set in a more future thing where some people have gear, which is like um, this equipment they wear, kind of like a backpack, but it'll have like, um, I don't know, like f cuffs and uh, cuffs, fuck, what, gloves and stuff that'll make their punches hit harder. But the main character, Joe, his whole thing is like, he's gearless Joe. So he's going into the ring against these people that have like industrial equipment on their back to make their boxing like stronger and harder and stuff like that. And he's going in there. Oh God, Megalobox is so good. I saw an incredible Joe cosplayer at a convention once. Like he even had like Joe's gear. He looked like he just jumped right out of the anime. He was so amazing. Oh, incredible. Let's see. Okay. Sorry. I'm reading back. I'm reading back. Uh oh. The soundtrack is sick. Yeah, the soundtrack is sick. Let's see. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Um, um, um. Goodness. Okay. Uh, Megalovania. Let's see. This is a good boxing anime. Oh, okay. Okay. Do you like fantasy and love something like that? Okay. Let's see. Let me go to my thing and look up my fantasy genre and see what I've watched that I would recommend. <gasps> ranking of kings oh my god i love ranking of kings okay that was like the first thing that came up <laughs> um ranking of kings is a really good show it's 23 episodes um it just got a second kind of like mini series that's 10 episodes but they're full length that just came out it's about our main character boji just a little baby boy and he is in line to be um the next king of his kingdom um <laughs> and it's really sad he is mute and deaf and so because of that a lot of the town people look down on him and they're like how are you going to be king compared to like your dad who was a giant like an actual literal giant 
and defended our land. And he also has an older brother that a lot of people are like, or younger brother, sorry, that people look up to and everything. And they're like, well, he should be the king. So it's a lot of him having to come over his own self doubt and the doubt of his people around him with his peers and the town folks and the people in the castle. Um, and that kind of journey has to take. It's really, really good. I really loved every minute of Boji. Um, the animation, if you know, you're a big animation kid, <laughs> is incredible. Everything's choreographed so well from just like the, just the little mundane moments of talking to the high intensity action. It's really, really good. I really like Ranking of Kings. If you want something a little more chill, I really like Bullfooty. Um, it's, uh, I didn't want to get hurt, so I'll max out my defense. It's super cute too. It just got its second season. Um, it's only 12 episodes a season. And our main girl, Maple, um, that's her name in game. I forget what her real name is. Um, her friend invites her to play like one of those VR fantasy world games. Um, and sorry, I'm like out of breath because like, God, I love anime. <laughs> um, um, so, but she's never played one of these games before. And she's like, well, I don't really want to get hurt. So literally like the title says, she puts all her points in defense. But at the same time, that unknowingly makes her like the most powerful character in the game. <laughs> But she's really cute and sweet, and like the guild mate she makes are really fun and interesting. I really like Bullfurdy. If you want like a little more chill with like a, a good amount of um, damage, like um, like action and stuff, I really liked Bullfurdy. I thought that was a fun fantasy show. Uh, let's see. What kind of job do I want? I want a job where I get to sit around the house. I have a big, beautiful, beefy 40 year old man with lots of money, and he just adores me and worships the ground I walk on <laughs> and I cook and clean around the house and and that's the life and then I come hang out with you guys <laughs> that's the real dream job what other fantasy oh hello welcome ghost ghost of us does what what's wrong with that people want to know what I want to do with my life I want to be a cute housewife is that so wrong <laughs> is that a problem <laughs> I just want to be a cute housewife, and I will support my man Well, he's go making the bread, you know, and everything. Um, I'll do everything around the house. I'll even manage the, like, finances around the house to help, like, alleviate his stress and stuff. I'm pretty good with money, not gonna lie. I have a lot of savings account. <laughs> I'm fine being a 50s housewife without all of the really traumatic and abusive sides of being a 50s housewife. <laughs> um... I don't know, I like cooking and stuff, and I like having, like, an organized house and stuff like that. Um, it's just the way I prefer it, not gonna lie, so. I don't know, man. Again, if, 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 if he's got the money, like, well, who am I to complain about? Oh, no, I have to stay at home and, oh, God, do the dishes and the laundry. Oh, God, that's so traumatic. Well, he's at the office working his ass off providing for us and our white picket fence and our dog and our two to three children. <laughs> Who am I to complain? Let's see, sorry. Yes, as long as it's not crazy. What is what is your question? One second, I'm probably gonna burp. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay, okay. Let's see. Um, what other fantasy anime do I like? Uh let me know when you're done with recommendations. Or right, you have too many. Um if you want oh, if you like uh Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. DM, 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 DM. Yeah, hit me in DM. Let's see. Um, if you want another one that's really goofy, like kind of like Konosuba, I haven't watched Konosuba, but my friends tell me it has similar vibes. Is Overly Cautious Hero. That one's really funny to me. <laughs> and the, the goddess, Rista, or Risteria, whatever her name is, she's me for real, for real. <laughs> Um, it's a basic, you know, oh, you've been isekai to this world because you have to be the champion of the people and blah, 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 that kind of stuff, right? Um, but his whole thing is like, well, I'm not going to step outside until I'm level 300. <laughs> and so he just like over prepares to a point where he is so overpowered because he's over preparing. And she's just like thirsting over his beautiful muscular body the whole time. And I'm like, wow, she really is just like me for real, for real. <laughs> Action fantasy. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. Let me do the fantasy action tag. What else do I have? Okay, Ranking Kings, Bo Footy. Oh. Um, oh, one I like that is kind of a hard sell for people. Um, I gotta go do something is wrong. Uh-oh. 
be careful. One that I personally really enjoy to the point where after I watched the season, I went and read the entire manga, and it's like a lot of chapters, <laughs> um, is Doro Hi Doro. Um, I, I, will, I will warn everybody, it is a CGI anime on Netflix. I still really enjoyed it. I, it was a really good watch. It's set in a fantastical kind of post-apocalyptic future with people being used as experiments from people from like a wizard slash witch kind of realm, but it's really dark and really gritty and gory and kind of like just fucking, oh, thank you for joining the family. Hello, hello. Um, and if you can, I would really try to sit through the first 12 episodes. Um, yeah, it's really graphic. It's really like rated M for no children. <laughs> um, but I really enjoyed it. And like I said, I read through the entire manga after the first season. And I loved every minute of the manga. It was it quickly became one of my favorite manga. Because unfortunately, I don't get to read as much manga as I would like. Um, I would really like it. Let's see. Um, Overlord is a good series from the two seasons that I um, I watched. Um, it's another, like, oh no, I'm trapped in my video game isekai. You know, that's like every fantasy action now. <laughs> Um, but I like the first two seasons I watched. I haven't watched more of Overlord. I probably will. I know they're like on season four or five. Um, let's see. ReZero is always a good one, I will admit. And the whole point is you don't like Subaru, who's the main character. But yeah, I don't like Subaru. <laughs> um, what else? Oh, what Isekai one I actually really liked recently was Tsukichi Michi. Uh, Tsuki Michi. There you go. Moonlight Fantasy. Where it is an Isekai one, but it's set more in a theme of like feudal Japan compared to like a European one which I, I liked I thought it had like a nice fun twist on it and I liked the character so I think there is a second season in development um, and I'll definitely watch that um, yeah I don't know sorry I, I can I can recommend a lot of different things to people let's see your name has good animation I haven't watched your name <laughs> something when things get like way over hyped if I don't watch it right then and there I'm not in a rush to watch it um, that's just me. <laughs> uh, it does have good animation. I'm not going to doubt it. That guy's whole thing is like his stuff has incredible animation. You know, let's see. Love that. We need more Overlord. I haven't watched Tokyo Ghoul. I watched, um, I mentioned it yes, not yesterday. Uh, yeah, actually yesterday. Time. What is time? Who knows? That the only Tokyo Ghoul media I've really consumed is um, I went with some friends because they were really into Tokyo Ghoul when the live action movie came out. We went and saw it, and so that's the only Tokyo Ghoul anything I've seen, <laughs> other than like the memes and stuff. Um, and so, yeah, I uh, I liked the live action movie though. I thought it was fun. Let's see, have you watched Attack on Titan? Um, no. <laughs> Which is funny because um, I really thought I would like Attack on Titan. It has a lot of concepts that I really enjoy. And I watched it like when the first season came out. Like it wasn't like I waited a while. But I got like four or five episodes in. And I know you're not supposed to like him at the start, right? That's how a lot of these shows go. I just like couldn't stand Aaron. And I'm like, if I'm going to have to sit here and watch this whole series. <laughs> and like, I can't, I can't sit through this if I can barely stand him right now. So I didn't watch any more Attack on Titan. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll go back, but yeah, not not right now. Let's see, let me get back. Humanity has declined. I'm watching that. I'm like three or four episodes into it. It's very fun. I really like Humanity has declined. It's very good. Um, I'll finish it one day. I promise. I have a lot of shows that I'm watching. Like, let me. <laughs> Technically, <clears throat> on my list, I'm watching over 40 anime. That doesn't mean I'm actively watching all 40 of them, but technically listed, I'm watching 40 of <laughs> them. You know how it is. Ah, oh, goodness, water. Um, 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 um. Mm. Sorry, I had a little more brownie. I've been talking so much, I haven't been eating much of my brownie. Oh, my milk's starting to get warm. Ew, gross, I have to finish my milk. Ugh, gross. Black Clover. Mm. I'm definitely one of those people that I was like, wow, this kid's annoying. <laughs> I heard the manga is a lot better. So I, when I have time, I probably will at least give the manga a try for Black Clover. 
um, the only part about Black Clover I like is uh, <laughs> Yami. He's the he's the one I'm telling you. Buff older men that look like they're probably a slightly homeless. <laughs> um, he's pretty good. Um, but yeah, I. I just like the older I've gotten because God, I'm like a million years old. Oh God, what happened? <gasps> okay, we're good. Uh, <clears throat> um, one second. Um, just the older I get, the more I kind of fall out of shonen. Um, obviously I'm not the demographic. You know, it's for like, um, goodness, it's for um, like um. What is it? Like elementary to like early high school boys. So clearly I'm not the demographic. <laughs> but I just like a lot of shonen in the last like 10 years really hasn't gotten me anymore. I've definitely leaned way more towards like Saiyan, which is geared towards a more adult audience shows. Because um, I mentioned it before, as much fun as it is to see like 13 year olds like beating the shit out of each other in like a Denny's parking lot. <laughs> There's only so much of that I could take. <laughs> I think if more shonen at least had an older cast, like high school to like early college, I might be more into it because I think you can do a lot more interesting stuff. But at that point, again, it's like it becomes seinen. Let's see. Let me look back. Oh yeah, Pompoko I watched. It's <laughs> it's an odd movie, but it's like a fun odd movie about tanukis and stuff. Oh, the Voltron. I never was into um. Voltron. I don't know. Uh, I think what happened is when it came out, I wasn't really watching a whole lot of stuff. <laughs> and so I tried the first episode. I, I think maybe if I had watched it when Voltron was first coming out, I'd be more into it, but um, not now. <laughs> Let's see. I did watch Demon Slayer. I watched the first season of Demon Slayer. Uh, oh my god. Gross. Sorry. Um, I watched the train movie. And uh, before the train movie, because I enjoyed the first season of Demon Slayer, <laughs> I went and read the entirety of Demon Slayer. <laughs> um, I have not watched the really hot Yuzui arc, because that's the only important thing about the entertainment arc, is him <laughs> and his big, beautiful muscles. Um, I have not watched the Swordsman Village, but I've read it all, so I know what happens. And for me personally, this is just me. I think it really starts to fall off after the Swordsman Village arc because for me it starts to kind of just like steamroll to the end. Um, like the ending really, really gets, um, I don't know, it, 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 it just, it gets really rushed. I get what the author, like they were like, well, I don't want to be, you know, a really long running shonen. Totally get that, valid, but it's just... It just, it felt like really rushed and there was just way too many um characters to try and care about and like get used to and like especially starting in the swordsman village it's like okay here's a character um okay that's their whole backstory okay um next character oh it's backstory okay and then it just keeps doing that for the rest of the series because it's like a large cast and they're trying to wrap up a whole lot of points so i'm gonna watch them i will because obviously it's beautiful animation it's like yufu table what are we expecting <laughs> but yeah yeah okay let me see let me see one second i have to look at my phone let me look Let's see. Uh, I don't really watch Mecha. Um, it's not for me. I watch a little bit of Mecha here and there. Um, it's just not for me. I do want to watch the the Mercury Witch Gundam though. I heard that one's pretty good. And I'm gonna try and go back and watch. What's the other one? People like Iron Blooded Orphans. Um, people said that one's good. Ping Pong's on my to watch list. I want to watch it. I haven't yet. Um, I think I'll really like it though. But one day. The FNAF movie. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> Ugh, God, FNAF movie. Um, you know what? Like, haha, -ha, as we all joke on the guy that made FNAF, look how much money he's making, right? Like, <laughs> he's making more money on this haha -ha, funny Chuck E. Cheese animatronics anime than probably most of us will ever see in our lives. <laughs> and you know what? Good for him. Get that bag. I just, I played the first FNAF game. I Obviously, I got scared because jump scares get me really bad. Um... But I haven't really played any other ones. But again, you know what? Like, he's making that back. He's got those games. He's got all that merchandise, all those toys, like, all the other games he's made. Now a movie. Like, you go, dude, right? It's kind of like the same thing with the Undertale um, creator. Like, you go, dude. Like, you make that money. Oh. Was the Onichan the one where he um, 
He works on like that kids show and stuff. Cause I watched that one. That one's hysterical. <laughs> I hope it's that one. I really, really liked that one. Just watching him just ready to end it all every day. I was like, me too, bro. Me too. <laughs> Let's see. I've been watching all of the Dragon Ball series, but there's so much yelling. Like they're all taking it down. <laughs> Isn't it, um, it's not Z, what's the new one that came out? But there's like that new Dragon Ball that's supposed to be like a quicker retelling of the original or whatever that people said is kind of like, eh, you could try that if you don't want to listen to yelling. Iron Blooded Orphans, Witch from the Mercury, and Build Fighter series. Oh, Kyle, 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 put them on. This video is creepy on YouTube. It's called The Walton Files. Oh, spooky. It's too late for me to watch scary stuff. I gotta go to bed eventually. Let's see. Well, well, let's see. What else was on my top animes? Let's go back to that. Uh, Pop Team Epic. <laughs> Pop Team Epic is fucking hysterical. I love Pop Team Epic. It's the perfect amount of dumb comedy that I signed up for. And it, it reminds me of Boba Bo. And that's why I like Pop Team Epic. Um, ooh, Vivi. Vivi is also really good. If you guys like sci-fi sort of um, sci-fi action-y shows about like the world ending and stuff like that um i really enjoyed vivi it also has really great music so if you like idol stuff it's right there it's about an um an idol robot like there's a robot made just to sing and stuff at a park and um this bear or this guy this program from the future comes back and is like hey we need you to come and prevent these events on your upcoming timeline that basically will mean the end of humanity and AI will take over and humanity as a whole will die. So this robot has to go from just being like programmed just to sing at this amusement park to um, like having to stop numerous cataclysmic events that are going to end the world. Uh, have a good day. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you. Thank you. I really like Vivi. Oh, the pedal one, that's one of those ones like I was talking about. If the art style is ugly, it's really hard sell for me. <laughs> and for me, I think the pedal art style is like really ugly. <laughs> um, I know people are really into it, but I just like, yeah, if it's not a good art style, unfortunately, I'm not probably going to try it. I've seen the Pokemons. I've seen a handful of Pokemons. Let's see. Dragon Ball Super Super. Oh, that's the one. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I haven't watched Dragon Ball, honestly, since I was a kid. I just... I know, I kind of fell out of it. I'd watch it when I was on, like, Toonami, right? But after that, not as much. Let's see, what else do I watch? Ooh, Banana Fish is a really good show. Um, Akudama Drive is really good. Chihaya Furu, that whole series is really good. Um, oh, Showa Genroku ga Rakugo Shinju. That series is a really, really awesome watch, too. What else is good? Mob Psycho. That's a given. Mob's always good. Um, the Vampire Dies in No Times is a really, really funny comedy series, too, that I feel went, like, really under the radar, and a lot of people didn't watch, but it is hysterical. <laughs> it's really good. I really like it. That little sound when people follow, that's the little armadillo in the show. Um, Yu Hakusho is always really good. I love Yu Hakusho. Um, it's really, really good. Oh yeah, I saw that. Thank God Oda didn't do that. <laughs> Thank God he had a wake up call. Um, Yu Yu Hakusho is really good. Um, I watched Devil Man Cry Baby. I didn't really like it. <laughs> um, not for like the nudity or the mature or whatever. I just I didn't I just didn't like it. I didn't really like the characters. I didn't really like what they were going for. Um. I don't apparently like anything by that director. <laughs> I learned that because everything I watched by him, I don't like. Let me look it up. It's Science Sadu, I think that's the ones who do it. Uh, yeah, it's Science Sadu. Apparently, I just don't like their stuff. <laughs> um, for the most part. There's some stuff like Azekin I really like, but I didn't like Devilman Crybaby. Um, and the other one from them I didn't like was Japan Sings 2020. There's other shows that they have that I do want to watch. I just haven't watched it. Apparently the director, I think, is more what it is. is I don't like the director. <laughs> a lot of his stuff I just can't get into. Um, but I know he's directed some really good stuff. I just, I don't know. Uh, yeah, don't cause problems with Mod Ari the way. I can't keep a charge of Ollie. That's why I, like, I have Mod Ari. Don't be, don't be causing too much problems. 
Mod Ari, I let them out of the basement for the weekend. <sighs> They've been doing good work. I let them go have a little fun. Yeah, no, I, I like I like anime. Uh, <laughs> yeah, clearly, I really like anime. Um, what other series? I really like um, Magical Girls too. It's fine. They're cute and they, they fight crime. I don't know. I really like Magical Girl series a lot. Um, I've watched a lot of Magical Girls, <laughs> and I will definitely still watch more. Like, let's see, what have I watched? I've watched Card Captor, watched Do Re Mi, Yuki Yuna, Full Moon. Princess Tutu, Madoka, Sailor Moon, Shogachara, Sugar Sugar Rune, Tokyo Mew Mew, A Handful of Pretty Cures, I'm working on it, I know there's a lot, um, Phantom Thief, Janae, um, I've watched like three different Nanohas actually, Mermaid Melody, Pre-Tier, um, the first season of Simpho Gear, Udahara, Magical Girl Sight, um, a handful of magical girl movies. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Sweet Valerian. Wedding Peach. Let's see. Magical Girl Ore. Saint Tail. Twin Princesses of Wonder Planet. Um, and I have a whole bunch more on my plan to watch. I really like the magical girl genre. It's like always been like a really cute genre for me. I don't know. Well, I don't mind edgy. I have no problem with edgy. <laughs> I have few limits when it comes to anime. Let's see, what's etchy on my list that I finished? Redo of a healer is kind of nice. Interesting. <laughs> I watch it for the haha -ha funnies of redo of a healer. Um, I watch it with a friend and we like, we die laughing all the time because we're like, wow, this is fucking ridiculous. <laughs> Let's see, what's some etchy series I've watched? Um, I haven't finished it, but uh kanagawa jet girls which is basically girls on jet skis with water guns shooting other girls on jet skis with water guns and if they hit right shots then their bathing suits come off you know how it is <laughs> uh, panty and stocking some food wars how not to summon a demon lord uh we love keijo in this house too we love keijo kill a kill um let's see what what's the english name of this one this is a real real d-gen anime and i love it says, I want you to look a, to make a disgusted face and show me your underwear. That one's a good one. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, Ganbare uh, do, uh, do, 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 do Ki-chan. There we go. That's her name. Those ones are pretty good. Dogeza. A lot of short, questionable anime. <laughs> you know, you know. Those kind of ones. Let's see. Arifud. Ah! Like, I don't mind etchy, but it's like stuff also has to have at least a little bit of a plot that I can enjoy. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, this one. What's this one's tags? Let's see. Action, adventure, fantasy. So it's technically not an isekai. It just depends. Like, power trip fantasies are kind of a hard sell for me. Sometimes I really like them, and sometimes I really don't. <laughs> like, I like slime. I'm behind on slime. Like, reincarnated as a slime. Um, but it's just like it depends. Some power trip fantasies just really don't do it for me. They're kind of just, I don't know, kind of dull, I guess, is the best way to put it for me. Um, and again, it's like if the character design isn't like wowing me, that makes it hard for me to watch. Um, it just it needs to be kind of like, wow, in your face, you know? In No Game of Life, I tried the first episode and then I dropped it. <laughs> I'm all for, for, you know, edgy and stuff, but I don't know. <laughs> There's stuff in that show that's a little questionable for me. So I kind of dropped that one too. Um, just because I drop a show doesn't mean it's maybe like 100% bad. There's stuff on my dropped list that is like 100% bad. <laughs> that's why I dropped it. Um, well, stuff that was really bad I dropped. Um, I did not like Fairy Gone. I was hoping I would. I only watched the first episode. I was like, this is not going to be the vibe. <laughs> and I ended up dropping Fairy Gone. It had like an interesting premise, but it just really didn't execute it well for me. I don't know. It says, here, here's the synopsis. It says, a world where fairies possess and reside within animals, granting them special powers by surgically removing and transplanting the organs of a possessed animal into a human. Humans can partially summon the fairy and use it as a weapon. I don't remember them talking about that on the first episode. <laughs> Eventually, such inf 
individuals were used for war and were called fairy soldiers. After a long war, these soldiers lost their purpose and had to reintegrate into society, from the government to the mafia, and even becoming terrorists. Each tread their own path. I think it's like an interesting enough concept. It just was not executed very well. What else did I drop? Um, how to kind of receive, which is a girls sports beach volleyball, which definitely is there for the etchy, but oh my god, the characters are so insufferable and so annoying. <laughs> like, I can't be distracted by your ass if you're annoying. I'm sorry. Like, it's not gonna save you. Um, what else did I drop? Standing on 100 million lives, I dropped. I got like halfway through the first season on, and I just wasn't into it anymore. Um, got a high school. I also dropped probably a little controversial. I know people really like that one. Um, again, I just really didn't vibe with the characters. The pacing was kind of whatever. I think it's hard too because like the webtoon for it started. Oh my god, in 2011, right? So like some things just don't age well. And then I remember people saying that like Reddit that they skipped like a huge arc or something too with the anime. Those people were like, wow, this kind of, like, sucks. And I was like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, what else did I watch and dropped? Um, Smile Down the Runway, which I had, like, pretty high hopes for. And I thought I would enjoy it. Um, but I really didn't. And I think Dress Up Darling was everything I was hoping Runway would be, honestly. Um, oh, High School of the Dead's really good. Unironically, it's probably my favorite zombie anime. <laughs> I don't think there's like too many zombie anime out there, but I, I really genuinely liked High School of the Dead. I thought it was really fun. The characters were fun. Um, I don't know. It was a good time. Let's see. Let me see if I can search for the zombie tag. If that's even a tag on any list. Zombie. Yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you so much for the follow, Poe. Thank you. Let's see, what if I watch that has zombies in it? Jojo. I guess technically Jojo does have zombies. <laughs> oh my god, goodness. Dodo hi Dodo. True. Oh, Zombieland Saga. That's my other favorite zombie one. Um, oh, I guess Talent is Nada does technically have zombies in it for like two seconds. Um, oh god, a lot of things that have zombies um, are on my plan to watch. I haven't even started them, but there's not a whole lot that I've watched that does have zombies. Chainsaw Man, true. Uh, Monogatari, I'm planning to watch the next part of that, so I haven't gotten to that just yet. Um, oh, I didn't start talk, tacked, talked, take, tacky, ticky talk OP. Um, I didn't start it, so I have I haven't watched it yet. It's on my my plan to. Um, Hopefully it'll 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 be Gucci. I have a lot of stuff on my plan too, though. Like a lot of stuff. Like oh my god, too much stuff. I'm trying to do this thing where every time I finish a show, whether it's a seasonal thing or like something that was on my planning list, before I I try to like before I start something totally new that's not on my planning, I try to like finish something that was already on my planning list, and then like the reward is like okay, you can watch something new, <laughs> or otherwise I won't get through my planning. My planning is. Uh, almost 400 shows on my planning list right now and probably like 95% of them are shows or movies that have 100% aired it's not even stuff that isn't out yet <laughs> I just haven't gotten to it it's a lot of anime I try my best there's only so much time in the day you know uh, like there's just like I don't know there's just not a whole lot of time in the day one second let's put something else on I think it's about time we just start decorating some more huh more stuff more stuff. More stuff. Okay, what else can we put on? What other abominations can we add to this? Let's see. Hmm. I'm looking, I'm looking. Looking, I'm looking. There's Christmas stuff. I haven't added anything new yet. I've been meaning to, but I have not. Put some sunglasses on, dude. Yeah. There we go. Maybe like that big? Yeah. Cute, cute, perfect, fantastic. <laughs> well, these actually track pretty good. They follow like pretty, pretty solidly. Cute. Will you watch the Genshin anime? Oh, uh, hello, welcome, Pokiyaki. Uh, I'm just kind of venting, not venting, just kind of like doing anime talkies. If you have any anime you want to talk about or want me to talk about, feel free to like say something. And then every now and then, I'm just adding more stuff to me <laughs> to make just some kind of an abomination by the time we're done. I'll probably give the Genshin anime a try, right? Like, I played Genshin for a while when it was out, 
Um, and then I, I don't know. I got the Wanderer, and he was the last character I pulled on, and then I haven't played the game since. <laughs> um, I had fun with Genshin, but it just it started to become almost like a chore to stay on top of it and everything. And I was already really bad with a lot of this stuff. Um, like, um, I never did... <laughs> I always had friends come and do the dungeons for me because I just didn't want to grind for materials. Grinding's my least favorite aspect of like every game ever. And with how big of a part of it is for Genshin to get your characters where they need to be, I just I couldn't do it. <laughs> Sorry. Let's see. Oh, I watched Sergeant Frog back back in the day. Um, I didn't definitely didn't finish it, and I've only seen like a handful of episodes, but it was fun dumb. We love fun dumb, right? Like I, I like Sergeant Frog. Um you know, it's fun, it's fun. Let's see. Oh, I'm not caught up on Demon Slayer, you missed that rant. <laughs> um, I like Demon Slayer, but after the first season of Demon Slayer came out, I was like, well, this is pretty good. And so I just read the entire manga <laughs> to the entire end, because the manga's been over for a while now. And I was like, oh, okay. Um, for me, it just, I don't know. Um, there's a lot of stuff at near the end and after like the swordsman village and stuff um i wasn't like super impressed with i get what the author was doing they wanted to finish it because they didn't want to be working on this for like their entire lives or whatever um i just feel like it really gets rushed after and even a little bit during the swordsman arc because there's still a lot of characters with backstories and stuff they want to cover and it feels like it just gets kind of rammed in there and that's like just like a roll to the end <gasps> yokai watch oh my god i love yokai watch <laughs> I had this joke with friends and stuff for a while where it was like, Pokemon sucks. We love Yokai Watch. <laughs> and I've only ever played one Yokai Watch game and I haven't even finished it. <laughs> um, I really thought the game was fun. I haven't watched the anime. I thought it was fun. I like Pokemons, but I liked how on Yokai Watch there was like a more of a. I'm not saying Pokemon doesn't have a story, but it felt like there was more to do and more objectives to focus on and things like that. Instead of just like, oh, let me go catch these Pokemans and go fight the gym leaders. And again, I'm not saying that's all there, there is to Pokemon, right? Um, but I, I really, I really liked, um, I really liked Yokai Watch the game. I, I haven't watched any of the anime and stuff. It really stinks that we probably aren't going to get any more Yokai Watch games because the sales didn't do very good outside of Japan. <laughs> um, apparently, in Japan, like Yokai Watch is like fucking massive though. So, oh, to be a, to be a kid. Yeah, see, I still have my copy of Yokai Watch on the 3DS, and if I ever need money, I will sell it <laughs> because it's a, uh, um, it's like yeah, it's so hard to find and everything now, especially now with the 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 e store like shut down and everything too. Like, if you didn't get it and you didn't get a digital copy, like you're kind of SOL now too. Until they do what they're gonna do with everything, and they're just gonna make bundles and put stuff on the Switch or let you buy the old games on the Switch, which. That's a rant for another day. <laughs> oh well. Let's see, what was stuff this season that I watched? I, I I'm technically watching a lot of stuff this season. I haven't finished a lot of it. Don't don't be yelling, but um Defrag, let me let me Google that. I feel like I've heard of that. Let me let me googie. Let me googie. No, this is not what I thought this was. So I've definitely heard the name Defrag. Maybe one day. Uh, my my planning list is very long. Like, very, very long. Like, way too long. What season were we just in? Spring. So spring anime. The only thing I finished so far that I was I had on my planning list from spring was Docky Stone. Because that wrapped up. <laughs> There's only 11 episodes this season. Oh, JK. No, yes, yes. Doc, you, no, no, I watched... Okay, I finished two things, sorry. So what I'm watching, and some of these I'm behind on from this season, is Hell's Paradise, um, Oshino Koi, Dr. Stone, which I finished. I really love Dr. Stone. Uh, Mashal, um, Heavenly Delusions, um, Yamada-kun level 999. Um, Skip and Loafer, Insomniacs After School, The Dangers of My Heart, My Home Hero, The New Ranking of Kings, Ancient Magnus Bride, what's this one? Why Relena Ended Up at the Duke's Mansion, something or another. Um, The New Rascal Bunny Girl movie that's coming out I want to watch, Magical Destroyers, 
Uh, Blue Orchestra, which is hard to find because it's not like technically like of officially licensed anywhere. Don't tell anybody. Um, so that one's kind of hard to find. Um, Birdie, the second season. I haven't finished the first season though. Um, Marginal Service, the new Tokyo Mew Mew season, which again, I haven't finished the last season, so I got to. Have not started Vinland Saga, the new season. And then eventually the new Sailor Moon movie, just because I've watched the rest of it at this point, so I gotta, I gotta watch all of it. <laughs> let's see, let's see, let's see. Nami no, nami no, nami no, nami no. You watch any Junjo Ito anime? I get so disappointed with the Junjo Ito anime. Like, they just never adapt it right, <laughs> which just really sucks because his stuff is some of the best horror, like, out there ever, right? And I just, every time I watch one of his, like, anime things, I get really disappointed. Um, the live-action Sailor Moon? <laughs> I know there is actually, like, a real live-action, like, Japanese television show for Sailor Moon. I know there was, like, that live-action one that they tried to do forever ago with Sailor Moon, and then it kind of just died. <laughs> um but yeah, I like I get so disappointed with the Junjo Ito stuff. Like the best one I watched was the the Tomo Tomoe like collection, and that was still only okay. I tried watching the Ito collection one, which is a bunch of like his short stories and stuff. I was like, you guys really need to pick the best short stories to put. <laughs> like, where's the hole? <laughs> where's this hole was made for me? I feel like they just have a really hard time adapting like his suspense and his style and everything. And I know. There's been, like, that Uzumaki um, anime that's been in, like, delayed and delayed and delayed into infinity that I'm really hoping, like, eventually comes out. And I really hope it's good because that's, like, his probably his, like, biggest work, if we're being honest. Like, that's his most recognizable thing other than the this hole was made for me, for real, for real meme. Like, um, I, I, like, I hope, I hope it's good. I hope it eventually comes out and I hope it's good because I think he honestly deserves, like, a really good adaptation. Um, at this point, I honestly wonder, I don't even know if they do it. I think his stuff might even just be better for, like, live-action horror, honestly. Because, like, the animation horror is not really doing it. Let's see. Let me look. Let me look. Um, we'll be talking about One Piece earlier. I'm honestly really excited about the One Piece live-action. I think with some things, it depends what you make live-action. Like, I'm excited for One Piece, and I know it's going to be crazy. Oh, hello, welcome, Ozzy. Hello, welcome. Welcome to the mess that's me. Let's add another thing on since you've joined. What shall we add? Should we put a bed behind me? Let's put a bed behind me. Let's put this. Sure. Uh-oh. How did I get this behind me? Uh-oh. I didn't plan this through. How do I... Oh, God. Put me in it. Put me in the bed. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, we're losing it. Oh, God. Oh, uh-oh. Wait, don't panic, guys. Don't panic yet. <laughs> No, the bed's stuck. I can't get rid of the bed now. <gasps> Why can't I get rid of that? Oh, no, I've locked those in place. How do I unlock? Oh, God. I don't know how to use anything in this program. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. Remove everything from the screen. I think that's the safest thing. Okay. Just give me a second, guys. <laughs> let, me, let me get my blinky back on. <laughs> I don't know how to use anything. Uh, I need my water first. My wadi. Okay. Put the water there. Make it a little smaller. A good size water? Okay. Okay, one second. Water, check. Okay, next. We'll get a different blanket this time. Let's do this one. Sure, sure. That, that works. Okay, we got the blanket back. Okay. Okay, we need, our, we need our sunglasses back, too. I think that's the last one we'll put on. We'll put the sunglasses back on, and then we'll come back. What are these? Why are these, like, sideways? Uh, drag. Okay, I'm not going to read that. Uh, oh, should I make them little? Oh, those are kind of fun right there, yeah? Ooh. Oh, those don't actually work. Never mind. <gasps> no! I locked it again! How do you do that? Stop! Don't be locking! Fuck. Oh, God. Don't panic, everybody. Uh. Uh. Ah. Uh, do I leave them there? They're kind of funny. <laughs> just free floating. You know what? Let's just leave them. I think they're kind of funny. <laughs> That's really good. Okay, let's, sorry. Let me read back. Uh, let's see. Well, I'm currently watching old school anime thanks to Disc Tech releasing them. Oh, that's cool. We love old anime. Opinions on the ghost stories. Oh, I, I haven't watched ghost stories. I've definitely seen clips of the dub and 
From what I understand, that's like, that's the thing to watch. Uh-oh. Uh no, my blankie! Stop! Don't take my blankie! Ugh. Okay, one second. This is irritating me now. I thought it'd be haha -ha funny, but now it's irritating me! I don't know how to, like, not lock stuff. I, I Okay, I've learned that I can't double-click stuff. Then we're fucked. Okay. Okay, put this here. Am I, am I centered? Okay, and then we put my water here. My, my wadi right there. Yeah, that's a good place for the water. Okay, let's put my blankie back on. Blanky, where are you? Uh, let's, let's not test things out. I don't think this is the time or place to test too many things out. So I'm not gonna know what's happening. Oh, my water's stuck behind here. No, no, no. Okay, okay, okay. We're almost there. Don't panic, anybody. Okay, my water can go right there. Okay. We good now? Oh, my water. No, you can't see my water. Okay. Let me make me a little smaller. There you go. Now you can see my water. Perfect. Okay, now we're good. Now we're back to square one. <laughs> Let's see. But I heard the... Oh, God. Oh, God. I gotta sit up a little. Ah. Uh, I heard the ghost story. Like, from the clips I've seen, it's, like, funny. But from what I understand, it's, like, they were literally given, like, no script. And they were just told, like, do whatever the fuck you want. And, like, <laughs> that's funny, but also could have maybe been a mistake. Is it funnier if it's massive? I think it's kind of funnier if it's massive. Let's, uh, I don't know. Get it off my screen. Get out of here. Is there, like, something simple I can put on? Sorry, I'm getting distracted again. Sure. Let's put this on. It's got cute hearts and stuff, right? That'll be a little cute here. Um, but yeah, I heard that the ghost story dub, they, like, didn't have a script, or they were just told, like, do whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> and, um... That's funny, but also a little problematic at times, but, you know, oh well, it is what it is. <laughs> um, let's see. Maybe I should put my sunglasses back on. I kind of missed them. I could put my goggles on, which are also half funny, but, like, here, let me put me down a little bit. There we go. Okay, let's, let's get some sunglasses back on. Let's pick a different pair. Let's see. Last time I did the, let's see these blue ones. Sure, yeah, yeah, whatever. Ooh, these are fun. There we go. Now we're talking fashion. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. Um, like I said, the, like it actually stays pretty decently on the model. The blankie, not as much. The blankie, he's blue than it. <laughs> so I think the other one's better. If I'm not moving as much, maybe it's like fine. But I, I move around a lot. Let's make me a little bigger again. Large and in charge. It's my stream. Yeah, I don't know. I like I like a lot of different anime and a lot of different things. I watch a lot of different stuff. Just yeah, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see if there's any anime that I can rant about that's really bad <laughs> that I completed. Uh, let's see. Uh, I haven't watched the the Futo Pi. I know it's like a common writer spinoff side story thing. Um, I wanted to watch it, but I, I just haven't yet, unfortunately. Um, like I said, I only have so much time to watch stuff, and I, I try my best, but... Ugh, I try my best. There's just so much out there. <laughs> and I only have so much time, unfortunately. Um, I'm really trying my best. Like, if it's a 12-episode anime, too, I really try to be like, okay, I'm just gonna sit down, and I'm gonna watch this and get it done in a day. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't, because sometimes I don't always have, like, a free day to do that. Um, the other thing I do too is if I'm stuck on what I want to watch, like I put a few shows that I'm like currently watching onto a wheel on Googie, <laughs> and then I spin the wheel and I'm like, okay, well the wheel said today I'm watching uh, uh, Eternal Boys, so now I'm going to watch Eternal Boys today, or Nabisco Biscuit, or, um, or like Pretty Boy Detective Club, or, oh god, I'm going through much of my watching right now <laughs> and looking at it. Um, so sometimes I do that if I have trouble deciding. And usually I stick with it. If there's something I'm like, mm, I'm really not feeling that right now, then I will spin the wheel again. But usually I try to at least watch one episode of whatever the wheel picks so I can like get stuff like watched and done. <sighs> Water. So yummy. Let's see. I don't know if it's just me. Oh my god, why am I jumping? Stay put. Um... Uh, yeah, which is me, but more anime shorter. I, I kind of think it's almost better, though. Like, I like long-running stuff, but I kind of like where a lot of... I know it started a lot, too, with, like, shonen shows starting to be like, mm, let's not, like, be long-running anymore. Because as funny as long-running is, I think it does kind of 
hurt a show if it's like a really like once you get over 50 episodes and even 50 is a lot like once you get over 24 episodes um, you start to run the risk of a lot of issues with like quality um, and consistency and also pacing and stuff um, so I'm kind of actually I like it a little bit more than a lot more shows have gone to the trend of okay well let's pick like 12 or 24 and let's get what we, we need to get done and then you wait like two seasons to like a year to do the next part right because then it also gives the source material a long time to keep moving and progressing forward where if you you know keep doing what a lot of shonen does and again like i love one piece and stuff right but it's that meme where it's like oh one piece is really long and like to be fair <laughs> most of one piece isn't technically filler but what keeps happening is they keep like catching up and so then they have to really drag like things out because of it um and so i think a lot of new shows now they don't have to like deal with that and i think fillers becoming like a thing of the past with a lot of shows just because um now that they're like okay well let's just do what we want to do for this season and then we'll do some more later and so it's kind of nice even though like some filler can be kind of decent but a lot of it's really bad i do prefer it yeah there's like a site it's like um how filler is in an anime let's see mm, here we go anime filler list um you like go and it like you click on a show and it'll tell you like what percentage <laughs> um of a show is filler like here's naruto the original naruto it says from 2002 to 2007 had 220 episodes and it says a total of 90 reported filler episodes naruto had a 41 percent filler ratio <laughs> like and then you compare it to one piece right which at this point is 1068 episodes and technically it only has 95 filler episodes so it's only 90% of the 9% of the show is filler. I will say I think it's a tad higher just because again um they have to drag stuff out which I, you could kind of count as filler, right? A little bit. Um so because of that it kind of is like a little more dragged out. And even Bleach, right? Like the original Bleach is 366 episodes and 163 of them are filler. That's almost 50% of the original Bleach is considered filler, right? Like <laughs> It's it's pretty bad, so I'm really glad a lot of shows are getting away from the filler stuff. I know Boruto is also really bad, right? Like, when it first came out, it was like half of it was filler. <laughs> Let me see if the site has what has the most filler. Let's see, what's the list? Oh. Mm. Uh, da, 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 da. It, just, it doesn't have what has the most, unfortunately. It just has, like, what's popular that people look up. Um. That's why I kind of prefer that a lot of shows have gone the um, the route of just like shorter stuff, so you don't have to do like deal with filler as much. Like, what's another pretty bad one? Probably Detective Conan's probably really bad. Let's see if I can find that. Oh, did they not have that on here? Oh, is it? Well, there we go. Case closed. That's how they list it. Like, <laughs> like for perspective, Detective Conan has technically more episodes than One Piece. And on this site, it says there's 489 filler episodes, so 45% of Detective Conan is technically listed as filler. <laughs> you know, um, it's just funny. It's, it's, it's interesting. Not that, again, like all filler is bad. There are some filler that is pretty interesting or entertaining. Um, but yeah, we're definitely going away from filler with having like a lot of shorter things. Um, and like One Piece, again, not to be like a One Piece stan, but... <laughs> Because I didn't always read the manga. I got more into the manga a little later. Um, there's a lot of filler in One Piece that doesn't really feel like it. And then most of the later filler is honestly just like a one to two episode advertisement of the new movie coming out. Um, like right after or right before they leave East Blue, I think in the anime, they have like a like a five to ten episode filler arc about some dragons and stuff. And I was like, oh, this is sick. And then it turns out that's like not even... <laughs> That's like not even um <laughs> in the manga. So at least One Piece, for the most part, with some of their filler, I thought they did it pretty good. But yeah, you know, I'm glad we're kind of getting away from filler. Ugh, my nose is stinky. I'm going to cut it off. Um, and I kind of like, too, how some shows are doing just for them or pacing and stuff. There's a lot more, like, 
shorts that are coming out so like 10 to 15 minute episode anime instead of um like something really really crazy that doesn't need to be super long you know um kind of like those too like i really liked uh cool guys right is that what it's called i play it cool guys let me let me let me google let me google cool guys play it cool guys yeah it's a short it's 24 episodes but they're 11 minutes um it's about like a group of guys that you know, you know from the outside people are like oh wow he's so cool but they all have something kind of quirky about them and like little mistakes that they make and stuff like that and how they all react to different mistakes like one guy wears mismatched socks and then another guy um forgets uh um oh god he like ha wears his jersey backwards or anything like that those kind of stuff i like short little things too they can be really fun um and honestly better pacing than if they made it like a full like 24 minute episode the dagashi one oh yeah i haven't watched that one but i've heard it bad <laughs> goodness I'm watching the other thing by that creator, um, Call of the Night. I haven't finished it yet, but what I've seen I really like. Um, it's just, it's hard because Call of the Night's on high dive, and I, I like a lot of the stuff high dive does, has. I just wish they had like a, um, uh, oh my goodness, so sorry. Um, let me get some more wide there. Uh, I wish high dive had a, an app, like a PlayStation app or something. Because a lot of times I just want to like lounge in my chair on the station and just relax. And if there's a show on high dive that I'm trying to catch up on, I have to sit at my computer in my... And it's not like a super uncomfy chair, but like I'd like to maybe not <laughs> be sitting at it for forever. Um, so I wish high dive had an app because there's a lot of shows I watch that are like high dive exclusives. Like um, Insomniacs After School is a high dive exclusive. Oshino Koi is high dive. Um, Dangers in My Heart was High Dive, too. I just finished that one. So I just wish there was more, um, I wish they would, like, hurry up and get a PlayStation app, <laughs> basically. Because, like, Crunchwrap or Hulu or any of those other ones, I can, like, pop up and be done. Wait, let me stand up. I haven't stand. Uh, I'm standing, I'm standing, I'm standing. It's been two hours. You guys are supposed to be more me once it's an hour. Goodness. Uh, Nani, I can do that on my place table? Bruh. <laughs> what? Okay, I'll have to try that. Nani. I'm so dumb. I don't even know how to use my PlayStation, apparently. Oh, that's right, though. On my PSP, I had, like, a browser to search stuff on. <laughs> Let's see. Hi, Dive. That's the anime streaming site. I was thinking I got them confused with the BTuber Hollow Live. Oh, yeah. Hi, Dive's an anime site. I actually like their catalog a lot. They get a... Oh, they also have Tokyo Mew Mew. They get a lot of, like, honestly pretty good exclusives. And they have a pretty good catalog of... When I say older, I mean, like, probably, like, 90s, 80s, and stuff like that. They have a pretty good catalog of, like, older series as well. Um, so if there's anything older that you're looking at or, like, want to try, they might even have it on High Dive, which I really like. Uh, oh, wait, I know one of those words. Uh, is that Konnichiwa? I, I know the little H is an N. Ko no, that doesn't work. Oh god. Come on, Duolingo. Please, Duolingo. I know these words. Oh god. Oh god. I don't remember. No. Konnichiwa. Let me, let me Google. I don't think it's Ko- Oh, well, Konnichiwa technically has two N's. Oh, it was! Oh my god, Duolingo's, like, saved me once again. <laughs> Wow, I like it, all the learning I did. Hello, welcome. Oh, hello, hello. Oh, I was like, I know that little H looking thing's an N. <laughs> That's how my mind remembers that one. I was like, that looks like a fancy N. Hello, welcome. We're just talking about anime, kind of just vibing. And every now and then I put a silly little thing on my little avatar just for funsies. What is this one? Let's put this on. Ooh, put that on my forehead. Let's put that right there. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> Let's see. Recent old anime watcher city. Oh, I've been meaning to watch City Hunter. Um, I heard City Hunter is really good, so it's it's you know, I I always say, Oh, I'm planning to watch. Like I said, my planning list is like four hundred shows. <laughs> but I do want to watch it at some point. Um same thing with um like Initial D has been on my planning list for like a really long time and I know there's like five seasons of it. Uh, but I'd like to watch Initial D at some point too. I don't mind older shows at all. 
Ugh, the PS5 doesn't. Ugh. I have my PlayStation 4 as well. I don't have it hooked up, though. Um, but I could probably plug it in and do that. But yeah, right now I watch on my PS5 mostly for that nice HD PS5 quality. Hajimoto no Ippo. Oh, true. I, I mean, like, they go pop, pop, pop. They go bang, bang, bang. They, like, fight and stuff. Yeah, I like older shows, too. Like, I have no problem. Like, a lot of my favorite shows are, <laughs> at this point, like, it's, like, God, it makes me feel so old. <laughs> Some of my favorite shows at this point are, like, 20-something years old, and I'm like, ugh. <laughs> like, magical girl shows, like, are kind of, um, oh, sorry, I don't have a Discord server yet. I've been working on it. I've just been really, really busy. I will, as soon as I'm ready, I'll have it in my about section, and I'll probably make some posts about it, like, on my Twitter and stuff. Um, there's some stuff I'm still trying to tweak, because uh, I want to have it pretty good before I let people in. Um, I've just been really busy, so I haven't had a chance to mess with it in, like, a, a week or two. But, you know, if you hit, if you hit that follow button, <laughs> you know, like, as soon as it comes up, then I'll let people in. It'll be fun. It'll be kind of more chill. Um, I'll have stuff for, like, alerts for when I go live and stuff like that. Or, like, a channel where I'll my, um, my tweets and stuff go. And, um, if I add stuff to my little throny thing, um, what else am I going to have in there? I'm debating about having, like, an NSF section, because personally, I don't mind. Um, and, like, y'all, uh, like, I can't... I, I can't monitor people too, too much, right? It'll just be like a, hey, you're telling me you're 18 if you're going to go in here. And if I find out you're not 18, then I probably will um, boot you <laughs> from the NSF section and maybe have to give you at least a warning like, hey, don't do that. Um, stuff like that. But it'll be chill. Kind of place to hang out, meme. And then if we do movie nights and stuff, it'll be in there. Oh, yeah, I have the stream cord and stream alerts. Also, thank you so much for the follow sheet. Thank you. Um, I've just been messing with them a little bit. Um, it's more the, um, kind of channel permissions and stuff like that. I'm, I'm still working on and getting them all squared away. Um, I just, I've been really, really busy, <laughs> which really sucks. Cause like I, I had some f days that were supposed to be free this last like week or two that were going to be days I worked on it on. And then, you know, always something happens. <laughs> Let's see. I think you can still access websites. You just can't go on an internet browser. Okay. <laughs> Oh, goodness, let's see. Let me let me be back. What I hate about some releases in Blu-rays that they have to release the dub and original Japanese separately. For example, Digimon Season 1 releases the English, but the Japanese also releases separately. I'm told they edited the episodes. Oh, interesting. I own the first season of Digimon. I actually haven't watched it. I bought it because it was on sale a couple of years ago <laughs> um, and stuff. Yeah, it's kind of sad that they do that stuff. I think a lot of the larger companies that do the dubbing, like Aniplex, um, Funimation, Viz Media, um, is Ani USA still a thing or do they get absorbed into Aniplex? I don't remember. But a lot of them, they try to have the, the dub and the sub on the disc and stuff still. Um, I think it's usually the smaller companies that don't do that as much. Like, I remember the days. <laughs> I still have one where... Um, They'd have the DVDs where it'd have like no more than four episodes on a disc. <laughs> Cause so I because of that I've seen the first four episodes of Boba Bo like a crazy amount of times <laughs> because that's all I had. <laughs> um it's it's good. It's a funny time. Um let's see. Yeah, yeah, it's it's pretty pricey to get a lot of physical stuff. Like, to be honest, I um I don't really buy a whole lot of, like, DVDs anymore. I think a lot of it, too, is I don't watch a lot of dub anymore. Like, there's stuff I'll watch dub, right? Like, you know, like the Bleach one, because I watched Bleach dubbed when I was a kid. And some shows I honestly prefer the dub of, as uh, as cancel-worthy as that is. <laughs> like, uh, FMA, I really prefer the dub. Yu Hakusho, I prefer the dub. Um, clearly, like, Bleach, because that's what I grew up with. Not saying anything against the sub, just... Um, because I don't watch a whole lot of dub anymore, like, when I was, um, younger, I would watch a lot more dub, so I would buy a lot more of the DVDs, but since I don't, and I watch stuff, like, as it airs, <laughs> I don't find myself buying, like, DVDs for anime as much anymore. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I have nothing against a dub. I think it just, it depends, because sometimes you'll get a really good dub cast, and sometimes it's, 
it's not necessarily the cast fault a hundred percent of the time it's like maybe they didn't get cast right or maybe they didn't get really good directing so sometimes some dubs aren't as like woohoo and i think because i watch a lot of stuff like as it airs or try to and simul dubbing's not as big anymore um it's kind of hard for me to like be like okay i'll wait you know like four to five months for this thing to get dubbed <laughs> or i could just watch it now so <laughs> you watch whatever you need to top five anime is like impossible dude um i'll just start listing what i have as tens out of tens we were talking about that earlier so i have full metal alchemist brotherhood megalobox pop team epic the second season let me go down so like i said annie list has this separated separately Movies for 10 out of 10. I have A Silent Voice, Spirited Away, Whispers of the Heart. And then, let's see. OVAs. Ooh, I cannot say the title of that one. <laughs> That's a 10. That's a little spicy. <laughs> oh, I'll have to skip that one. Um, ONAs, Gundam vs. Hello Kitty. That's a 10 out of 10. <laughs> Obey Me, Season 1 and 2. It's 10 out of 10. Um... Play It Cool Guys is a 10 out of 10. Let's see, I don't have any specials listed as 10 out of 10. For music, I do have one. I call it, it's a Nyocho is coming. Yay, 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 yay. I don't know. I like a lot of anime. Even like though I love One Piece, I technically don't have One Piece listed as a 10 out of 10. I think of One Piece, yeah, I have it as like a 9. <laughs> um, you know, um, I love One Piece, but it, it's got things that, it's got issues, you know, it is what it is. I don't know why they air a dub. They do it on Adult Swim or something. Oh, yeah. I mean, it just kind of depends, right? Um, like, uh, um, brain. Um, a lot of Funimation stuff goes on Adult Swim or Toonami. Like, that's how I watched a lot of anime when I was younger before I knew it was anime. Like, the baby AK when I shouldn't have been was watching, like, Inuyasha and, like, FMA <laughs> and Afro. Well, Afro, ooh, is Afro... Oh god, I get a confused. I think Afro Samurai is technically an anime, but Boondocks isn't. Like, I should not have been watching Boondocks when it was airing. <laughs> but I really like... Okay, yeah, Afro Samurai is the anime. Boondocks isn't. Um, oh god, Boondocks is fucking hysterical. I love Boondocks. <laughs> that show's pretty fucked, but it's good. Um, like that kind of stuff. I'm a six million years old. <sighs> you know how it is. <laughs> I'm a VTuber. I got no real age. Um, I really liked Boondocks. It was fucking hysterical. It had no right being that funny. And again, I should not have watched it <laughs> when it was airing. Uh, it was definitely for uh, mature audiences, but it was a good time. <laughs> but yeah, that's how I got a lot of my dub was Toonami or Animation. Um, um, or like I said, like 4Kids is where I watched a lot when I was younger. Um, Jetix was also a channel. I don't even know if they're still a thing. They had some stuff like they had some of the Digimon um, dubs and um, Oban Star Racers and stuff like that. Um, and then some places uh, where I got good uh, signal and stuff, um, they like some providers would have like anime specific channels that you could add to like your package deal. And so I did that once, and I watched stuff like Princess Tutu and a couple other ones I can't remember. Um, but I only did that once because those weren't really big. I know Funimation technically, they might have stopped it. They, I think, supposedly have their own like channel you can add to your package. But at this point, like in this day and age when everything's streaming, um, I don't think people really do that anymore. <laughs> right? And then even if you can't get like the real Funimation app, you know. The internet's a place with a lot of sites, is all I'm saying. <laughs> Alright, what else can we put on to make me a little funnier? Let's see. Put a band-aid on. Let's see. Let's get it small. Let's put it on my nose. Let's put it on my cheek. How do I rotate it? Well, let's put it right there. Perfect. Oh, it doesn't work like I wanted it to, but... We do, we live, we thrive, and we survive. <laughs> Let's see. Ba -ba -ba. Oh, Jetix is gone? Oh, boo. Um, I think they're still technically listed as Funimation. It's just like Sony bought them and Crunchyroll, I'm pretty sure, right? But I think they're still technically their own entities. Um, but yeah, the whole Funimation catalog is getting moved to Crunchyroll, so I think eventually it will officially be like disbanded and stuff. Um, 
or they'll just be like, oh, we're just the dubbing company for Crunchyroll. <laughs> something, something. Let me see. Have you seen Gridman? No, I've been meaning to again. I just, I didn't get to yet. Ugh, I got like so much stuff on my planning list and just get really busy. I've been meaning to. It's on the list though. One day, one day. I got a lot of things on my list, guys. Here, what about this? What if I just start listing things I've completed? <laughs> and then you guys can, like, if there's anything that sounds fun or you want to know about, here, how about we do that? And then you can just be like, stop, AK, stop, stop. And I can be like, okay, 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 okay. Let's see, let's see, okay, let's see. Okay, we got Brotherhood, Megalobox, Pop Team Epic, Ranking of Kings, Vivi, Florit, Eyes, Song, Akudama Drive, Angel Beats, Banana Fish, Bada Kamon, Beastars, Bleach, Thousand Year Blood War, Bofuri, Chihaya Furu, Showa Genroku, Wakugo Shinju, Eden of the East, all of the new fruits baskets and the original fruits baskets. Horamiya, all of Keion, Kagiki Shoujo, all of Kaguya-sama. Uh, keep your hands off of Aizuken, the first two seasons of Mob, because I haven't gotten to the third season yet. <laughs> everything that's out for Rascal Does Not Dream of Bunny Girl and everything affiliated with Rascal. Um, all of Spy Family, all of Vampire Dies in No Times. Uh, uh, have a good night, uh, be safe on whatever you go and do. Oh, these are things I've watched. My backlog, like I said, is pretty pretty bad, too. Like I said, I've got like 400 things on my planning list, and even though technically I'm watching like 50-something things, a lot of them are like things I want to watch, so I just threw them on the watching list, but I haven't actually started. <laughs> Let's see, what's on my backlog? Let's see. I've got the 2.43 Sane and High School Boys Volleyball Team, the 22 divided by 7, um, 86. Um, I was gonna try Scientific Railgun. I don't know if I'll like it. Um, let's see. Aka, Aka, um, uh, Adachi and Shimamura. Um, Season 4 of Agretzko. Um, let's see. Akebi's Sailor Uniform. I started and then I haven't finished. I want to go back and just start it over. Um, the new Blue Exorcist stuff that's coming out. Uh, Bakuno. Let's see, Batman Ninja, because that's just like edgy as shit. <laughs> um, oh, I haven't seen the second season of Beastars yet either. Um, Kekai Sensen, all of that I've been meaning to watch. Bokurano. Um, what else? Corrector Yui, that's an older magical girl show I've been meaning to watch. Um, let's see, what else? What else? What else? What else? A lot of Pretty Cure. Technically, I think every season of Pretty Cure that I haven't watched is on my planning list. <laughs> One day. Um, what else is on my plan to watch? Plan to watch? Plan to watch? I don't know. A lot of things. Like I said, you just list something. I've probably seen it or heard of it, or I'm watching it or planning to. I like Pretty Cure. I think Pretty Cure is pretty fun. <laughs> I know it's pretty long, but you know, technically you don't have to watch all of Pretty Cure. You can literally just pick a season that appeals to you for the like the character design or the theme for that season and just start it and stuff. Um, you can kind of do whatever. I've watched the original first two seasons and then Splash Star and the first season of Five. And I've watched bits of Fresh and Heart Catch and mm, Happiness Charge, I think. Eventually, I do want to finish them all. Oh, and Tropical Rouge. That one's also really cute. Um, it's just, like, they are really long. <laughs> like, in theory, I could sit there and, like, in two days, I could finish a season of Pretty Cure. Because it's, like, they're all about, like, 40 to 50 episodes. So, you know, it's, like, roughly 20 to 25 episodes a day. So, technically, in two days, you could finish all of Pretty Cure. <laughs> but, like, it's a lot. <laughs> so, I haven't gotten to it. I actually don't have like any Pretty Cure anything, even though I like Pretty Cure. Um, magical Girl stuff that I do have stuff for is um, Ojemaho Dori Me. Um, let's see, uh, Sailor Moon, obviously. I have the entire volume set of Sailor Moon and the entire volume set for the manga. Um, I've also Shogu Chara. Um, and I have a handful of like acrylic charms for things like, um, for stuff that doesn't get a whole lot of like anything because it never got licensed. <laughs> Um, like Sugar Sugar Rune, Phantom Thief Janae, um, 
Uh, there's just one person that makes really, really cute enamel pins, and I want all of them, but if I bought every single enamel pin they had for all their Magical Girl shows, it'd be like $600. <laughs> so clearly I'm not going to do that, so I only have a few of them. This person does a really cute series where they make enamel pins, and a lot of them are for shows that really don't get like a whole lot of anything um, and stuff like that. I really like it. Let's see. My niece watched the English. Oh, yeah. Um, I heard the English adaptation of Pretty Cure. They call it, like, what is it, Doki, whatever, I think, on Netflix. Um, from what I understand from people that have watched the actual one, for one, the saturation is bumped up, like, 25% for, like, the English stuff. <laughs> Which I don't know why, because all the Pretty Cure glitter for, I think the original is called, like, Doki Pretty Cure or something. But the saturation is bumped up, like, 25%, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense when <laughs> Pretty Cure is also super bright. And they, I, from what I understand, they did the same thing they used to do with anime back in the day, where they changed their names, and um, episodes would be pretty heavily edited and stuff. Like, I know there's, like, total scenes that get cut off of that adaptation. Um, and then I was like, well, I'll just go watch the Japanese, <laughs> like, version but they don't even have the Japanese version on it. Like they, like they, they, you don't even have the option to switch the audio to Japanese or anything. Um, so yeah, I know they also. I think the very original Pretty Cure, like the first season, they did also dub, and then I think they just never did again. Um, which really stinks. Like Magical Girls had their period, and like so shows come out every now and then. Like I'm watching Magical Destroyers. It's so funny because it's so stupid, and I love it. <laughs> But it's just like they had their period, like the 2000s was like peak magical girl time after the 90s. And there's just really not a whole lot more that comes out. And most of what comes out is not really great. So it's like pretty much if you want to watch new magical girl stuff, you're pretty much watching Pretty Cure or a lot of shows now are getting um, remakes and everything now too. Um, like Sailor Moon, like they're getting that whole remake, which has just been like a nightmare and a mess. Um kind of feel like I'm gonna burp the whole time. Oh, goodness. Like, I've watched it all. <laughs> I don't like Sailor Moon. I wouldn't call myself a Sailor Moon super fan, but I think it's hard to be like, oh, I like Magical Girl, and be like, oh, I also hate Sailor Moon. <laughs> um, but yeah, the remake of Sailor Moon's been like such a mess. They've gone through like four different art styles, and they couldn't decide if they wanted to do anime or movies, and I kind of think it's better now that they're just sticking to movies, because um, the original series for Sailor Moon is only 12 volumes. Like, it's not a very long-running series. Um, it's just that back when the original Sailor Moon was coming out, like, Monster of the Week was really big. Um, and so that's how they did it. But I think it also worked to their advantage because um, you got to know and, like, interact with a lot of the characters more. Where with the reboot, it sticks a lot more to the manga, which is funny because even the manga does a better of, like, um job of making sure the other scouts and stuff get like screen time and you get to know them and stuff but the remake doesn't really do that <laughs> it's really just like focusing on usagi which it is her story right but it's not really great uh hello welcome experts of the blades to my one piece uh well well wait sorry not even one piece anymore <laughs> just rambling about anime welcome i hope you enjoy your stay let me add another thing to my body since you have followed let's see what we can throw on here I just keep adding stuff to the mess. Let's see, what can we add? What did we lose? Oh, we lost our egg. We did lose our egg. What is this? Does this move? <gasps> Yay! Oh, this is good. Right there. Yeah, perfect. Welcome. <laughs> I think that's pretty good. We'll leave that on for a little bit at least. Uh, but yeah, the new Sailor Moon, it's really sad. Um, we had a little egg on our little kitty cat earlier on my head. Um, it's just, it's sad because, again, I think a remake of Sailor Moon could have been really good, but, you know, they went through, like, three different art style changes, and the pacing is, it's not really great because they're really just following the manga one for one, and like I said, it's, like, 12 volumes, so, like, every arc of Sailor Moon's, like, maybe three volumes, <laughs> it's not very long, um, which is really sad, but I, they're gonna wrap up soon, because the next part is the Cosmos, like, arc, whatever you want to call that. I don't know what it's really called, but that's, like, the final arc of Sailor Moon. So I think they have, like, two to three movies planned, and then and then the remake of Sailor Moon's gonna be done. Um, and then, you know, in, like, 15, 20 years, they're gonna remake it again. <laughs> and hopefully it's a lot better this time. Um, some of the other remakes have been good, like, um, the Tokyo Mew Mew one is... <laughs> I like it because it gives me the vibes of the original Tokyo Mew Mew, which is, you know, aged. 
Oh, hello, welcome. Not de oh god, Deshlin. Hello, welcome. Welcome. We're just talking about anime. Okay, let me add something else for the new person who's joined. I keep adding stuff to me body. Let's see what else we got in here. Why? Well, maybe not. There's a lot of Christmas stuff. I don't have a lot of stuff saved. Oh, I could put a table down. Let's put a table down. There you go. Uh, put it in front of me. Oh, I can like, oh, oh, oh. It's even better. Perfect. Now I like sippy sippy. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Wait, I hope I don't time out people. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I don't mind a lot of the reboots. I think some shows it's working to their advantage if they get a reboot. The Tokyo Mimi one is, it's okay. <laughs> Maybe I'm like remembering Tokyo Mimi wrong, but I feel like this one's a lot more childish. But you know, I, it probably was the original. I'm just remembering it wrong. The new Shama King. Oh, hello, welcome. Oh God, it's Seto Kaiba. Fuck, I don't have my deck. Oh shit. Is there? Is there? I don't think there's a deck PNG. <laughs> Where's my dual disc? <laughs> if I get a dual disc PNG, I could slap that on there. Oh, welcome. We're just talking about anime. Oh God, wait, it's a new person. I have to put something else on. One second. Maybe I could put something on my table this time. My water I'm holding. Can I put a piece of bread on the table? Bread. 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 There we go. Onto the table. Perfect. <laughs> uh, oh, I mean, like, I like Yu-Gi-Oh. I haven't, like, I, I, I watched Yu-Gi-Oh when I grew up. I haven't seen anything new. The last Yu-Gi-Oh I watched most of, to be honest, was probably the second season, or the second version, where they're, like, at the, the Dueling Academy. It's probably the last Yu-Gi-Oh I watched. Um, and I've seen parts of card games on motorcycles, and that's about it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ya. Oh, God. Uh, oh, God. Uh, let's see. Shaman King. I watched the first episode of the remake. I haven't had time to finish it, but I still really enjoyed it. I think a lot of things, like, I don't know. I liked the old Shaman King. I thought it was a fun premise. I liked the characters. I've been meaning... Um, to finish the remake, especially because they announced like the follow up series of like you, yo's, 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 was it uh, yo? I can't remember his name. The main kid's kid, it's like a follow up series. So I really want to finish the remake. It's only like 50 episodes, so it's not really long. Um, plus, Silva is there, and like, oh god, Silva is really hot. <laughs> Silva's like really, really hot. Let's see. Bunny Girl Senpai is coming out. Oh, yeah, it's um, Bunny. Or Rascal does not dream of. Oh God, what is it? Rascal, because each one's technically different. Does not. Oh, there it is. Where is it? Come on, load, load. Oh, Rascal does not dream of a sister venturing out. That's the next movie that's coming out. The original one was Rascal does not dream of Bunny Girl, and then it was Rascal does not dream of Dreaming Girl, and now it's Rascal does not dream of a sister venturing out. Um, I really like the Bunny, or the Rascal series. I think it's really fun. Um, maybe I cried a little bit when I went to the theater and I saw the the Dreaming Girl movie. Maybe just a little bit. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, hello, welcome, Frio Frost. Where are you all finding me from? What is going on? Is it just you're just a uh, you're just like you just see what's going on on the screen and you're like, oh, I gotta see what the fuck's going on here. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Okay, let me put something else on. Let's see. Okay, let me. Oh, that's how you put stuff behind me. We've discovered it. Here, we'll put a couch behind me. We'll start putting stuff on the couch. There we go. <laughs> We're just filling up the screen. <laughs> welcome, welcome. How's it going, fellow duelist? Oh God. Uh, please don't. Don't make me duel, Seto. I I lose myself. I'll go to the shadow realm. I never won like a single Yu-Gi-Oh card game when I was a kid. I still have my Yu-Gi-Oh cards. <laughs> I just, uh, I think as a child, I didn't have the brain power to like sit down and play a card game. Not gonna lie. Let's see. Uh, etone anone. Let's see. Oh, my avatar is so cute. Oh my god, thank you. Sorry, it's like covered with a bunch of shit right now. <laughs> Uh, but uh, thank you so much. Uh, my mama, Cyan, she's down in the socials and stuff. Um, I really, really love her stuff. It's really, really good. Let's see. Pendulum card? See, yeah, I saw that's a new thing in the card games. I'm like, yo, what the fuck is a pendulum card, dude? Like, I was already confused enough when it was like, oh, you sacrifice cards, and you evolve, and you activate your trap card. And they're like, oh, now we have pendulum stuff. And some of them, like, change 
the field and the environment. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> like, I, I can't, I, I, uh, I'm, I kind of am tempted to try, um, um, the, there's the, the duel game that's out there in the world right now. I'm like tempted to try it, but I know I'm going to get my ass beat. <laughs> so that's why I'm like, do I really want to get embarrassed like that? Let's see. I love you as well. I got the Paradox Brothers exam pack and a number hunter like kite from the next one. Link summoning. Bro, I don't. What the fuck is Link? Okay. Now you're making me Google. You're making me use my brain. It's like almost 1 a.m. Yu Gi Oh! Link summoning. Dude, like I said, I didn't watch the original Yu Gi Oh! And then I watched most of the Academy one. So anything that happens, like after the academy one like i don't know anything about and the only thing i know about the motorcycle one is the like the clip i've seen which is card games on motorcycles <laughs> and something something the main character has like amnesia or something something like that's all i really know let me go see what card anime i've technically watched oh, let's see my anime card card battle anime what is tagged as card battling that i've watched not a lot. <laughs> Let's see. I've watched, um, like I mentioned earlier, I'm watching Vanguard Overdress the first season. I watched Selector Infected We Cross, just the first one. I know there's a bunch of different ones. Um, I guess Summer Wars technically has card fighting listed, but that's kind of surprising. And Digimon Tamers also has card fighting as a tag. Um, let's see. Something called... Build Divide, I have on my planning list. I don't even remember putting it on there. Um, <laughs> and then High Card, I've been meaning to watch, but I haven't gotten a chance to watch it yet. So that's about it. Apparently, there's not a whole lot of card battle anime in there. Oh, just like Overdress. My friend um, watched the first couple episodes of Overdress and liked it, so we've been watching it. I'm like halfway through the first season. <gasps> Shit, no, fuck. Ah, <laughs> Shit, I just clicked it. It was completed. No, 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 no. Fuck, fuck. Oh no. Ah. Oh god. Um. Oh god. What episode am I on? Oh. Fuck. Oh. Okay. I'm just going to leave that as completed, I guess, and then just ask my friend what episode we're on. <laughs> I didn't mean to finish it. Oh, if my friend sees, they're going to be like, what the fuck? Oh god. Oh god. I see paragraphs. Maybe I need to edit the. Like, how long? So, oh, I can't do that right now. That's like a lot of work. Maybe I'll make it where if we're going to do chatting and chilling where the text stays in the text box a little longer. I think I have it fade away after like 15 seconds. Okay, I'm reading, I'm reading, I'm reading. Let's see. Uh, 5D is the bike one. Let's see. Pendulums are a mix between a spell card and a monster card. Um, each pendulum has some numbers. If you place two pendulum cards into the pendulum zone, uh, you can summon monsters between the numbers on them. Ba, 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 ba. Example, Stargaze Wizard has 8 and Time Gaze Wizard instead has 1. So if you place them in the Pendulum Zone, you can summon monsters from 2 to 7. Oh, my brain hurts just reading that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Anything that gets way too complicated, my brain's like, huh, what's happening? And I'm like, I don't know either. <laughs> Digimon Ghost Game. Oh, yeah, this is a new Digimon, right? I, I learned that the other day. I just, I, there's so much to watch, and I'm just one little person. There's just so much anime out in the world. Like, there's just so much, dude. Oh. Let's see, what's else on my planning list? Let's see. Yeah, I got lots of anime I gotta watch. Like, almost the entire Monogatari series is on my planning list. Because I've only seen the first um, part, which is, uh, oh, fuck. I don't remember what the first part is. I watch them in release order um, because I hear that's the better way to watch it than, like, in, like, uh, I guess chronological order and stuff. Uh, let's see. Um, oh, Hellgirl. I watched little bits of Hellgirl in the past, and so I've been meaning to go back and watch it. And I really liked what I saw, so... I technically have all of it on my planning list, even though I've definitely seen parts of the first season. Um, what else? What else? What else? I'm just picking out random stuff for my planning list. There's a lot on my planning list. Um, oh god, Hit Mike, the new season. I'm so fucking excited. 
the new season's coming out in October. I'm so excited because Cuckoo is going to be real. Oh my god. And Ray. <gasps> god, my 40-year-old man. That's got so many problems and causes so many problems. It's going to be real on the screen. I'm going to scream. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm unironically so excited. Oh, I can't wait. Uh, what else is on here? Um... Uh, there's so many things on my list. Kaiju number eight. I really like that manga. I'm, I'm, I was really hopeful for the anime, and then I saw how they butchered the kids and like the character design. I'm like, oh, bro, that art style's so good, and you just like fucked it. <laughs> so I'm like really sad, but I'm gonna like watch it. I hope. Um, what else is on my planning? Planning. Kuma, Kuma bear. Oh, that's not my planning. Link Click, I've been meaning to watch for forever, and I know the new season's coming out, so I want to try and get that done before the new season comes out. Um, Some more Madoka stuff. I've only seen the first season of Madoka, so like the rest of Madoka I haven't seen. Um, Let's see. My, my Little Monster, I know that's a really good shoujo I've been meaning to watch for a while. Um, I haven't watched comedy snafu at all, so that's on there too. Eventually one day. <laughs> um, non non budding. Um, some of the One Piece movies I haven't watched. Um, no, I just I've only seen the first season of Madoka, and it's because like the season when I watched, it, I was like, oh, this is okay, and I went back to my other magical girl shows that I liked better. <laughs> I'm gonna definitely watch it. I know it's all supposed to be really good. Um, it helps because, like, on Annie List, I explained it the other day, but Annie List, um, they also have challenges you can sign up for. And most of them don't have a time limit. Um, there's just a handful that do, like, a monthly one or the seasonal one um, or the yearly one, like the staff pick ones. Um, and basically, it's, like, it's nice because it forces me to actually watch anime and get anime done that's been on my planning list for a while. Okay, we're gonna sit again. We're lowering. Um, oh god. Oh, where's my chair? Fuck. Oh god. Ah. Um, which is really, really nice. Um, but it'll be things like the, the easiest challenges in my mind is the genre ones. So they have like every genre. And then usually for most of the challenges on the site, if it has like multi multiple stages, uh, goodness, excuse me. For the most part, for the ones that have multiple stages, um, you can use anime that you've already watched before for the first stage so it's really easy to knock out as long as you watch like 50 anime <laughs> um, most challenges also let you double dip so it's really easy to knock out a lot of the genre ones um, they also have like collection ones like ghibli or like studio based collection ones um, and then like fun little challenges they also have like puzzle ones that are kind of hard to understand but um, it's nice because basically i just try to um uh, hello. Hi, Papi. Hello. Uh, yeah, I just, I like the challenges, and then I try to limit myself when I sign up for a new challenge, which basically I signed up for every challenge when I made my account, because they mostly don't have a time limit, and then that way if there's a show I finish, then I can slip it on that challenge. <laughs> Especially if there's a, just a challenge where it's like, oh, you can only use anime that you've completed or started after you made the challenge post. Um, so I like, I like, I like doing challenges a lot. And I try to limit myself to only pull stuff from my planning list, um, unless there's something that I really don't have. If it's like a really specific criteria where it's like watch something from the 1970s, uh, <laughs> like I might not have that on my list. Um, but it helps me walk like work through a lot of my planning list. My planning list used to be like 600 shows, <laughs> so the fact that it's out of 400 is honestly pretty good. <laughs> like I've really shaved it down with the challenges help. Um, and they have like a magical girl genre one that has been helping me watch more magical girl shows I've been meaning to for a while. Um, like I did Sight. Uh, I liked the concept of Sight. Didn't uh, didn't really like Sight that much. <laughs> and then I've been wanting to watch Raising Project, so that's on the list too. Um, let's see. Yeah, I watched some older stuff. Let me. Let, what's the oldest thing I've watched? Let me go look. I like on the site too. It has stats, so you can look at stuff. Let's see. Let me see. The challenges are nice if you're open to watch anything because it gets you to watch stuff you normally wouldn't and be like, huh, that was nice. Yeah, yeah, I, I like I like that. Um, and that's what I like about them. Oh, yeah, I've been wanting, meaning to watch um, Raising Project. Let's see. Um, What was I looking for? What was I looking for? I came to my stats. Why did I come to my stats? Who remembers? What was I doing in my stats? <laughs> I don't remember. Oh, God. It's the bonking. My brain cells are deteriorating. Oh, 
Years. Yes. Got it. Bang. Bada boom. Let's see. There we go. You can look by like released years, how many titles in a release year you've watched. So according to mine, the oldest thing I've seen is from 1978. And my year that has the highest amount of things I've watched so far from that release year was 2020, where I watched 86 different anime <laughs> that released in 2020. Um, yeah. They also do, like, watch year, how many, like, hours you've watched, in the, like, per year and stuff. Um, and then also hours watched per um, thing, which is cute a little bit because it's based on when, like, a show releases. So, like, technically 1999 is my most hours watched because that's when One Piece <laughs> released and stuff. Let's see. Uh, I have to look. What is my oldest thing? I don't think it's Astro Boy. And it's probably not Devil Man because I didn't like Crybaby, so I'm not going to go watch the rest of Devil Man. <laughs> I think it's some weird, random, obscure show, honestly. <laughs> Let's see, let me go... My anime... I said it was 1978, right? Let's see. Here it is. Oh, yes, it's Candy. <laughs> it's the, um... Candy... Wrap-up of the, the, the TV show. It's an older show about some girl that, like... I don't know. The original was like 115 episodes, but I had to watch something from the 70s for one of the challenges. So I found this 25 minute thing, which basically recaps a lot of Candy's adventures from the first 115 episodes. <laughs> um, she's like an orphan. And so she goes off. She goes to like some boarding school. Where a bunch of kids are dicks to her. She finds a guy. She falls in love. The guy dies. Um, then she moves on. She gets adapted by like another like <laughs> family. Falls in love with that guy. He goes to America. A whole bunch of other tragic stuff. And by the end of it, she's like, "Well, I'm gonna be a nurse." And then she leaves. And we're like, "Oh, okay, bye, Candy." <laughs> That's like the oldest thing I've watched. Um, but yeah, it was for a challenge. Um, That's a kind of nice thing because yeah, you you watch stuff that you maybe wouldn't normally watch, or things you were like kind of hesitant to watch because you're like, "Well, this challenge says I need something with the cosplay tag and stuff like that." Um, which is really nice. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. It's, like, it's pretty nice. Let's see. Da, 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 da. The animation was okay for the 70s. Um, the sound... <laughs> the sound design was, like, fucking awful. And I, I can't really blame it because it was the 70s, so it probably also didn't get, like, saved and remastered and re-uploaded good. But, like, the voice acting is, like, really jank with the volumes and, like, the balancing and stuff. The sound effects are equally bad. Um, it, it was, like, it was, like, I had to watch it at, like, maybe 10% volume because it was so loud when anything happened. Or, like, when a child screamed on screen. Like, I had to watch it really quiet because my ears were going to bleed. Let me get some more water. Ugh. <sighs> My desk with my bread. I wish the bread would like jiggle with me, but there's only so much we can do, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm like, I don't know. What else is? Oh, here's a really good bad one. <laughs> and there's this lovely series called Diabolic Lovers. <laughs> um, my friend literally was like, "Do not watch it," and I was like, "Bait," and I watched it. <laughs> um. And uh, the whole Diabolic Lovers is like an Otome series, which apparently in Japan has like nine of them in the whole series. And I don't think a single one has been ported, but with how many Otomes are getting put on Steam and on the Switch store now, like I would not be surprised if they started bringing Diabolic Lovers over here. <laughs> um, but the whole premise is this girl, like she grew up in like a like at a church orphanage and then she suddenly is going to like some boarding school and like ends up at this house and it's just oh my god there's men everywhere so it's like a really no it's an otome right so like there's a bunch of men um turns out all of the men <laughs> are vampires Ooh. <laughs> um but they're all genuinely like awful people like the main protagonist is like a fucking cardboard cut out of a person but you know like all of the dudes like they don't care about her like genuinely like not in the slightest like they all think she's ugly and gross and stupid one of them literally calls her bitch chan and they're all just like using her as like their own personal like juice box <laughs> like none of them care about her whatsoever and then like something something for some reason 
like their dad's mistress or one of their moms like died and is trying to reuse like her body to like <laughs> revive and stuff um and all this other stuff so then her body gets possessed and the boys save her for like they don't even want to save her like they're like oh i guess we better stop her because like the woman that took her over is crazy not even that they care about her like the main character <laughs> just that the woman taking her over is like batshit crazy and then they save her and then they still treat her like garbage <laughs> And then they have a the second season, and from what I understand is each season is one of the games. And so they introduce like four more vampire boys, so she ends up staying with them, or like gets kidnapped. And again, the main guys don't care. Like, they don't even try to go save her. They're like, fuck it, we don't care. <laughs> um, but at least like the second season, the dudes care slightly about her, right? Like, they're like, oh, she's like in trouble. That's not good. Like, they're not good people either, but like they at least care. <laughs> and stuff and so like then it's like both of the boys fighting her and stuff who is the show even for <laughs> i think it was for the otome fans well it's like each season's not even full episodes they're like 11 to 12 minute episodes they're not even full episodes <laughs> um i think the show is just made also to like advertise the otome game but like i said like it went did really good like here let me go to let me go to wiki wiki I'm pretty sure there's like seven games in the main franchise and then the anime and stuff a lot of otome if they get big like they get an anime or a movie like um hakuokai has some movies um was it alice cross or cross oh malice cross something like that that's getting a couple movies um what else what else just some of them get it so like diabolic lovers technically has one two three four five Sorry, I thought it was more. No, six, seven, eight mainline games in the Diabolic Lover franchise. And the most recent one is from 2019. So, like, this franchise is still pretty alive. <laughs> um, but, yeah, none of them have ever gotten, like, a port outside of Japan. They started back on, like, the PSP, PS Vita in, like, 2012. So, it's, like, it's, like, it's still a franchise. <laughs> um, just some... Oh, apparently it also got stage plays. That's when you know it's real. <laughs> if something gets a stage play. They had a stage play as recently as 2018. That's when you know, like, this was, like, a really big series. <laughs> but it's, like, hot garbage. But I watched it anyway, and it was funny hot garbage. Well, it wasn't Isekai. She was just, like, um, it was just, like, an our, our world. Hello, welcome. Yes, we're just talking about all sorts of different anime and stuff. Welcome, welcome. Don't mind whatever's going on with me on screen. <laughs> um, but yeah, it wasn't, like, an isekai. It was literally just set in our world, and she just ends up going to this boarding school with these dudes. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, it's a trip. It's a funny to watch, but there are parts of it that are, like, disturbing um i guess for some people so i'd be careful i'd look at like different warnings and tags and stuff like that again it takes a lot for me to get like upsetty there's only one anime that i've stopped because i was like genuinely grossed out and disgusted with um pretty much everything else if i stop it it's just because it's bad <laughs> where i get bored and stuff but the one that i like i could not get past the first episode was plunderer like that one generally made my squint like my skin crawl and like i've watched like a lot of anime and some of it's pretty fucked up like like in the first episode of plunderer like it's like borderline not even borderline it's like basically um like not consensual touching of a woman in a very inappropriate way and like there's a lot of anime that do that and most of them i'm like wow that's fucked up but i will, maybe will like keep watching the show but whatever happened with plunderer i don't even know why i was just so creeped out and I could not watch it. I dropped it after the first episode. I know people really liked it, but it just really disturbed me. So uh, I didn't like uh, Plunderer. Oh, I liked Goblin Slayer. <laughs> See, that's the thing is like, I liked Goblin Slayer. I haven't watched the movie yet. And like, I could sit through Goblin Slayer, but I could not sit through um, Plunderer whatsoever. Like, I hated it. Berserk when that one guy paid to smash him. Uh, I haven't actually watched or read Berserk. I've been meaning to. Um, I know it's like really, really good and um rest in peace, the creator. I know he passed away, I believe, last year. Um, so I haven't meaning to read it. Um, just haven't. Yeah, I got through Goblin Slayer. That's what I was saying. Like <laughs> that's why it's kinda crazy, because I got through like Goblin Slayer and stuff, but like I could not with Plunderer. Like I had to stop. I was watching with a friend too, and we're both like, Yeah, this is really fucked up. Like 
just something about it really set both of us off and so yeah i didn't finish it but yeah like i like i said i i <laughs> I watch a lot of anime, and a lot of it has some pretty fucked up stuff, but <laughs> just for whatever reason, that one just really, like, I could not do it, right? Like, I just couldn't. Like, I've even watched some adult anime <laughs> that have some questionable stuff, and I could watch those. I just couldn't with Plunderer. Um, I, I don't know what to tell you. I just really couldn't. Ah, <sighs> water. Hydration. I think, like, let me go to, let me go back on any list. I think right now on Berserk, like, on anything, they have the original author listed, um, the original creator for the volumes and stuff that he was working on, but they have it now listed where he did volumes 1 to 41, um, but the, it's still technically listed as releasing, so I, I think... It's probably what a lot of series do, where they have um, the editors know the direction the story's supposed to go and what the end point of the story is. Like Oda says, like his editors know the end of One Piece, and they've known the end of One Piece since he started creating it. So th I think there's a chance that they might have a team um, that might come and try and at least get to the end point that Berserk is supposed to have. Um, I don't know. See, on Annie List, it's still listed as releasing. And then for the original creator, he's listed as um, story and art for volumes 1 to 41. But then they have a couple other people listed. Um, oh, yeah. Here, Studio Ga Gaga and Kojiro Mori are listed. And it's a story and art volumes 41 and on. So I think they're trying to probably wrap up the current story beats. Because, again, I don't know what's happening in Berserk. And then I'm assuming they're just going to try and get to the ending. It might not be the perfect ending that Berserk fans want and everything. Um, but I think they are going to try to have like an end to the story instead of it being left on a cliffhanger. Like so many things that are on hiatuses get to. Like it's really sad. Like a lot of things just are never going to get done. Like D. Grayman. Oh god. That's so sad. No, I finished this. Oh my god. Ah. Complete. Save. Thank you. Like, did Greyman's probably never gonna finish? Because I know the author for that, like, keeps taking extended hiatuses for health reasons, which are super valid, right? 100%. Um, Nana's another one where that's, like, just in hiatus hell and probably is never coming out of hiatus hell, if we're being honest. <laughs> um, and a bunch of other shows, which is really sad. Um, so I think, I think... They have, like, a lot of them now. Like, the editors and staff have to know what's going on. So if anything does happen, maybe they can finish it up. I just, I don't know if we're ever going to end to Nana. Like, let me look up. When did the last Nana volume come out? Let's see. Let's see. Like, the last Nana volume to be printed was 2009. <laughs> like, that's 10 years ago. And, like, I just... I don't know. I would like Nana to get an ending because it's a really good series, but I just I don't think it's ever going to even if they get another team to do it like, <laughs> it's kind of sad it's just an indefinite hiatus hell <sighs> oh, the Hunter Hunter guy he's also the guy that did Yu Yu Hakusho, he takes breaks all the time because he does not take care of himself, but also at the same time, it's the industry that does not take care of their people, right? Um, goodness, I feel like this is maybe a stream I should have had music in the background, but I don't know what the rules are, so I don't have it. Um, it's, 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 a, it's an industry issue, right? Because we've all have it crafted where it's like, okay, well, we need content now, and a lot of the larger running series are on a weekly release basis. Shonen, um, or maybe it's just Jump. Jump technically has other release schedules. Like they have twice a month, they have monthly um, or every other month, which are like sub things where Shonen Jump is their main thing, which has to be weekly releases. But because you do that, like you put a lot of these artists, and the same thing with Webtoons too, right? And it's just like, I don't know, side rant. It's just society as a whole. <laughs> We're at a point where we like we want content now and we want all of it now and because of that it puts these really unfair standards on the creators and all of these industries to make these results happen now 
but because of that they all suffer in a lot of different ways from like their health and their work ethic and stuff like that um and it's like it's even outside of japan because a, a large portion of webtoons are typically like korean created or um like the creators are korean and so they're on the same things but there's are I would say argue even worse because there also are expected to be like fully colored and shaded works put out on a weekly basis and so it's like it's just a really bad industry in terms of if they cared about people and their health and I think it's just bad for um, artists and stuff in general right it's just a really negative um, industry unfortunately yeah solo leveling that was another one where the author passed away um, because of like a lot of health problems and stuff and then they feel like they can't take breaks because we also live in a society where it's like the second you're not relevant or trending or talking like you're forgotten about right <laughs> which is super negative um, and everything I'm pretty sure wasn't it solo leveling author passed away yeah, yeah, um, they passed away pretty recently, yeah, um, July last year, they died, um, from a chronic illness that they had, so solo leveling's another one that unfortunately will be put into the won't probably ever get finished category, unfortunately, um, unless it did get finished and I just haven't caught up and stuff like that, but yeah, it's really sad, it's just the industry as a whole is really... Um, it just really doesn't take care of their people, which is really sad because we love the works that they make and they know that we love and appreciate them, but, um, again, it's just supply and demand and it's also just people are like, well, I want it now. So, you know, <laughs> it's also the consumers are also part of the problem as well because, um, like Netflix, ooh, I hate Netflix. <laughs> Netflix is a big culprit of that with their binge culture and stuff too. It's like, well, I need to have all of this now, and I'm going to binge it in a weekend. And then because of it, too, um, it's like also stuff dies in relevancy. Like, I was really pissed off when Netflix got the new season of JoJo. Because I was like, oh, that's great. It's going to do what it does with all their other originals, where they're going to put it all out. <laughs> and then people are going to watch it and talk about it for like a week to two weeks. And then they're going to stop talking about it. So it also kills like fandom momentum too with like the culture that Netflix has where it's just like binge and get it over with. Um, it just it f like kills any momentum that a fandom can have for something. Um, so I hear they hate it when Netflix gets shows. <laughs> like if it's a Netflix original, like 100% original, that's one thing. But yeah, when it's like something that like you aren't even going to get to build a fandom and stuff. Yeah, it's like, yeah. Uh, well, part part five was on normal JoJo like weekly release. It was part six was the one that got the Netflix thing, and it was also dumb the way they handled it because they released like twelve episodes, and then we had to wait six months, and then it was like another twelve episodes, and then another six months, and then the last twelve episodes. And I'm like, okay, or we could have just done a weekly release, <laughs> like, and it would have took the same amount of time and stuff like that. You know, I just I don't know. I I don't like Netflix because of that. Um, and obviously people feed into, oh no, you're fine, um, feed into the binge culture, and it's really gross. I hate it. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I am a One Piece live action defender. Sorry. <laughs> I'm really excited for it. I'm probably not going to stop shitting up about it. Um, I keep sending my friends all the stuff I find out about it, and I'm like really glad. I see. If I recall correctly, they did weekly releases for Comey, but it was also delayed, so Netflix wouldn't even be the platform you watch it on. Yeah, that's the other thing. Is like, um, oh, Carol and Tuesday was another one, right? I really love Carol and Tuesday, and it was a Netflix one. And then they did the bullshit where, like, in Japan on Netflix, it would release weekly. But in the U.S., we had to wait, like, six months after to get it. So, obviously, everybody went to other sites <laughs> to watch it. And then they did the same bullshit where they were like, okay, well, here's six episodes. And then it took them like eight months to get the second half of Carol and Tuesday, which was just so stupid. So clearly, I, I definitely, 100%, definitely used Netflix to watch Carol and Tuesday and waited. Um, and definitely did not go to another site to watch it. But when you do stuff like that, it's so dumb. Because then also, from what I understand, Netflix has weekly releasing shows. Like, there's some K-dramas and stuff that do a weekly release. So it's not like Netflix can't do it. It's just that they choose not to. Which is dumb. And I hate them and they're stupid. I hate them. I hate Netflix. Grr. 
Grr. They also made the big mistake when they stopped. They started doing the thing where if you want DVDs and streaming, you had to pay more. <laughs> Hate Netflix. Stinky buttholes. Okay, let's put something else on. What else shall we add to my chaos? Let's see. Well, let's put the little dude on the couch. Should we put him on the couch? Yeah, let's put him on the couch. Bum, 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 bum. Make him a little smaller so he's a little more friend size. There we go. He gets on my couch. Can you see him? Oh, he's a little cut off. I see. Okay, let me move him. Eh. There you go. You can see him a little better now. Let's see. Uh, uh, I don't know. I, I, have, I haven't watched Dragon Ball since I was, like, a child. <laughs> like, the last Dragon Ball thing I probably remember watching was not even, like, main Dragon Ball. It's the one where they, like, they're in the future or whatever, and it's, like, I don't even think it's Goku, but there's, like, three kids in the future or something. Um, I, I haven't watched Dragon Ball in a long, long time. I don't think it's for me anymore. I think I think it had its time for me, and I think I've definitely um, moved on. <laughs> Let's see. You haven't seen the trailers yet? Oh, I loved the teaser. It was so good. And then, oh, I talked about it earlier, but there, there's a little clip um, of the actors, and they're watching the teaser, and like they start crying because they're so excited and so happy. And I was like, oh my god, I'm so happy for them. Um, I hope it's really good. I think they put a lot of care and time and dedication into this live action compared to some of the other live actions, which I don't think got the same amount of care. And then again, also Oda, like, um, you know, he put a stamp of approval on it. So like, I'm not going to fight Oda since <laughs> if he if he approved it, that means it's probably good. Yeah, so I'm, I'm really excited. I think they honestly picked really good actors. They all genuinely really like the show and series too like i remember seeing in the interviews they're like oh my god i've been reading and watching one piece for forever so it's like it's really really nice um I'm, I'm really excited i think it'll be good um we pray like maybe the one piece live action will be the end of the curse of live action anime <laughs> um it's just the bigger anime that gets a live action that usually doesn't do good like if it's a shoujo or like a romance and stuff where it's like real people in the real world, those live actions usually do totally fine, right? Because like you're not trying to make a fantastical world seem real. <laughs> you're just trying to make the romance of these people seem real. So yeah, I don't know. I think it should be pretty good. Ah, we love water. Let me take a real sip. I wish the bandage would stick a little better, but, but you know, what can we do? I also wish the bread would stick on my table so I could go like, Wah. but oh well. I mean, we need to add more stuff to it. I got the little the little gun. Somebody sent me the PNG gun and I haven't added it yet. You know, I just haven't had time. Um, I don't really see me, other than like chatting and chilling, using too many of these things, honestly. Um, just because like, I don't know, it's, it's okay. Like, I don't know. The last Japanese show I watched that aired was Dawn Brothers. Oh, that Dawn Brothers. Oh, this is like a Power Ranger -y kind of show. Oh. I haven't watched Power Ranger stuff in like forever. Oh. Or like, oh, Ascension, is that the other name for them? I haven't watched any of those in forever either. I used to watch Power Rangers when I was, was a youngin, and I liked it. Um, I just haven't watched it forever. I watched the newer Power Ranger movie. I thought it was fun. <laughs> it was dumb. It was stupid. But, you know, that's what, <laughs> it's like, you know, that's, that's, that's fine. It didn't have to be a perfect movie or anything. I thought it was fun. It was a good time. Oh, goodness. Ugh. My nosy. Oh my goodness. Ugh. I have to start finishing some of my seasonals from the season because the new season starts soon. Oh my god, oh god, that means there's more anime I'm gonna be watching. <laughs> like what's coming up? Let's let me go look. Let me let me go see what's coming up. Home Uh searching oh, searching. Let's see, this year. For summer season, what's coming up? And what am I probably going to watch? Um, I'm probably going to watch the new JJK because Gojo. Oh my god, it's airing in two weeks. Oh my god, pretty there. Um, ooh, there's a Horamiya thing coming out. Ooh, that starts in like a week and a half. I'm going to watch that. 
obviously the new bleach oh my god that starts in like two weeks oh my god the summer season's already here god <laughs> um zombie or zom 100 that looks interesting so i'm gonna try that let's see um my happy marriage looks cute so i'm gonna try that let's see I didn't think there was too much actually this upcoming season that caught my eye, so I might use part of my summer just trying to work on my backlog and stuff. Like, I don't really think there is that much that I was like, woohoo! Or, like, if there was anything, I have to watch or finish, like, a previous season to do it. Um. Oh, yeah, there's a new Ghibli movie coming out. Ooh, that's coming out, like, next month. Yeah, um, it doesn't really look like too much for the summer season I'm, like, woohooing about, so. That's good. Oh, there's a City Hunter movie. That's right. I knew there was something new for that coming out. So yeah, I'll probably use this new season to watch, um, like, the stuff I have on my planning list. Oh, Ya Boy is really good. I really like Ya Boy and Chainsaw Man. Let's see, what about Fall? I like watching ahead. Let's see. I don't think I'm going to watch the new season of S.H.I.E.L.D. Hero. I didn't even finish the second season because I got really bored. Oh, there's Spy Family Season 2 and a movie coming out in fall. Let's see what else is there. Da, da, da. Oh yeah, Ducky Stone I'm gonna watch. Um, Undead Luck I'm gonna try. I, I think I'd like it. Oh, there's more Tokyo Revengers. I'm behind. I've read like almost all of Tokyo Revengers the manga. I'm a little behind on the manga. I haven't finished it. But I do like watching it. Right new link click I think is coming out this fall, I think. Um Oh yeah, there's not a whole lot on fall I picked either. Oh wait, this one. This one will get me cancelled if I watch it. Perfect. <laughs> Let me add it to my planning. But yeah, even fall it doesn't look like there's a whole lot of stuff that's like really catching my eye necessarily. Like there's hip mic, obviously. That's the most important thing. So that's all that really matters. But nothing else is like woohooing me. Not gonna lie. Well, there's the Pretty Cure All-Stars F though. True, that is coming out. Hmm. Hmm. I see let me put on my planning. Put this on my planning to keep growing. My planning list. Never finishing. We'll see. It's a spy movie. Well, it says yeah, there's gonna be a spy family movie, but I have a feeling if they're releasing like a season and a movie at the same time, I'm guessing that it's probably gonna be like a a non canon movie, kinda like a lot of these do. I don't think it's gonna necessarily be like canon content, because it'd be kinda weird if they did a like a season. And then also a movie that would be like the next arc, because that like that would also reduce um, the amount of like uh, buffer they would have between like the manga and it. Let's see. It doesn't say anything about what the movie is gonna be. It looks like the movie was just released. Let's see. What did it say? What did it say? It says, the second season is going to come out first. The movie might be the second half of this second season or the end of core one for the movie. Hmm. And twisting. <laughs> well, like, the dumb thing about... Oh, well, like, the dumb thing with Demon Slayer is, like, the train movie came out before the train, like, episodes... Which is, like, kind of weird, and then, I don't know. I don't know what they do with Demon Slayer. I don't know. They're just making money off of it, right? That's, that's all they're here for at this point. Which is totally fine. Make your money, I guess. Whatever. 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 Make your money. Even if it's stinky and we don't like it, just make your money, I guess. It's not that we don't like it, but, yeah. I think they're just, like, kind of stretching it. Because also it's UFO table, and I feel like their last big thing before this was probably um uh wasn't their last thing before this like like fate one of the fates too so this is like they're kind of their new big like thing let me look it up uh here we go let me go look at ufo table ufo ufo let's see yeah, their last, like, big series before Demon Slayer was Fate, which they're obviously still doing, but, like, that was, like, their main thing before Fate. Um, yeah, I'm gonna keep watching some City Hunter. Yeah, we're probably gonna wrap up soon, because it's, like, 2 a.m. It's, like, a little late. I want to try and hit the three-hour mark. That's my goal. We're almost there.
Let's see. Oh, that's right. UFO Table is also doing the Genshin anime. I forgot about that, huh? I forgot. Let's see. Yeah, I don't know. I don't even know when we're going to see this Genshin anime. Like... It says that, like, nine months ago it got announced, so... And, like, sometimes they announce stuff, like, two years in advance or whatever. Um, but, yeah. We'll see. I don't know how it'll... It'll be... Oh, God. <laughs> My list looks so fucked. It's like, oh, I finished all of D3 Man in a day. That's not true. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well. I can deal with me making mistakes. They're not gonna like my mistakes. They can get out of here. Ah. Oh my goodness, I'm trying to stay strong. God. I haven't stayed up to 2 a.m. in a while. I try to be in, in, like off of all the stuff and getting ready for bed by about like 1. Just because I try to have a good sleepy schedule, but it doesn't always happen. You know how it is. I can't believe we got so many followers today. Incredible. Thank you guys. Like crazy. So many people. I don't even know where you came from. Crazy. Oh my god, another one. Oh, welcome. Thank you. Mute kite kitten side. Kitten kitten side. Kitten 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 side. Thank you so much. We're getting so close to like 200. It's crazy. Look at us. Oh yeah, we're 175. Ooh. It'd be really cool if we could hit 200 before the end of the month. I think we can do it. That's only 25 more followers. It'd be even cooler if we did it before... Well, I guess the end of the month is also technically my one month stream anniversary. <laughs> but it'd be really cool if we can do that. I think we can. I think we're pretty close. Oh, you're exploring Twitch? Searching? Seeing what's around? I probably caught your eye with 101 things that I'm learning on. <laughs> That's a fun. Yeah, for more chat and chills, I'll do this. I'll try to find more fun stuff to put in here, like the gun and other stuff. Um, I don't have, like, a stream deck thingy, like the Elgato, like all the cool kids have. Um, so I'm limited to whatever hotkeys I can set on my little number pad. So most of my hotkeys are for, like, my expressions. Like, here, let's do one. Disgusted in you. There's that one. A little heart eyes. Ooh, pretty cute. Got laser vision. Kind of looks fun behind my goggles. Um, I got smug, a little smuggy smug, a little soon soon, like, grr, go. Oh, this looks pretty good with the sunglasses, actually, I like it. <laughs> and there's my yandere one, which also looks pretty good with the sunglasses. And then I found I can layer my laser and my yandere, which is pretty good. And then I can put my goggles down, too. ka -chow. Ooh, it comes with it. Let's go. <laughs> I can do like sorts of different expressions, but yeah, I'm limited to that. Eventually I'll get like a little streamy deck probably, maybe one day. Um, uh, maybe one day. Oh, oh. Ah. Ooh, a librarian who draws. I technically have a, a doodle tablet. Um, It's a pretty old one. I've had it since like, oh God, like, like 2012, 2013, it still works pretty good. Um, in the future, I was going to maybe do some doodle streams. I'm not the best, like, artist. Like, uh, that's fine. I don't have to be the best at anything, even though I'm the best at everything. <laughs> so I thought it would just be kind of fun maybe in the future to do fun little doodle streams and stuff, just, like, a little bit. Um, and then, yeah, like, we'll do chat and chills and stuff. I was kind of tired from yesterday, um, so I figured today would be a nice chat and chill. This is my first, uh, like, solely dedicated chat and chill. <laughs> And I feel like, not gonna lie, a lot of the chat and chills are probably gonna be anime related. Because <laughs> um, that's the main thing. Or about games that I've played and things that I like. Um, yeah, we're just testing out a whole bunch of different stuff since it's like um, my first month of like streamy streaming. Um, this is my third week, like full week of streaming. Um, really exciting. The end of the month is my one month uh, stream anniversary. And then I just got the email for affiliate. I haven't read the email because I've been busy. Um, <laughs> So I was going to fill that out and apply, so um, we might do something fun to celebrate the one month first three and like also affiliate and stuff. Um, uh, I probably can't do it like the actual day, unfortunately, because I got like a lot of stuff and whatever, um, which is like uh, so sad. <laughs> but it might be fun to try and do something. I had mentioned before I was thinking about like a 24 hour stream um, or something like that. And somebody said maybe start with like 12 or whatever and see how that goes. I was like, yeah, it's probably right. 
Um, a lot of all sorts of stuff. But since it's almost 3 a.m. and I'm almost done, not 3 a.m., 2 a.m. Oh, I think I could do a 24 hour. I've done a couple 24 hour stints for other stuff. Um, I think to be safe if I did anything, I think definitely starting like at 12 hours. <laughs> Um, but I want to plan something a little bigger if I did a longer stream like that. Um, not like a subathon or anything crazy like that, but just something a little longer. Um, and just playing with ideas. I might even just save, like, that bigger event for some crazier milestone. Maybe if we hit, like, 500 followers or something like that. I don't know. Just, like, anything's, like, a possibility. Let's see, okay, let me do my little end of streamy thing. Okie dokie, let's see. So the next time you guys will see me will be Wednesday. Um, let, me, let me enhance the image. Let's see, Wednesday at 12 p.m. Pacific time. We're going to play some more Hong Kong Star Rails. Um, we are like still super new to the ice planet and stuff, so we're going to play that. Goodness gracious. Um, what's going on? Why are we talking about food? Whoa. We love food. I like food. I like pasta and bacon and stuff. Yummy. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, uh thank you for joining Game X Hunter 9091. We're about to wrap up for the night, but thank you so much for the follow. Thank you. Um, yeah, okay, so you guys will see me again on Wednesday playing some Honkai at like 12 p.m. Pacific. Um, I'm still pretty new to Honkai. We're just at the start pretty much of that, like the first planet and stuff, so that'll be fun. There's Wednesday. If you can't make that on Thursday at 9 p.m. Pacific time, we're going to play some more Ghostwire Tokyo. Um, that'll be our third time playing that. That'll be lots of fun. Um, I try to, I'm trying to do a thing where it's like if it's one pretty story heavy game, I'm trying to play like one story heavy game at a time <laughs> and then play it like once a week till we get done with it just to keep going. Um, yeah. And then Saturday at 10 PM Pacific, we're going to play like a really spooky game that I haven't like seen much about, but I got it and it looks pretty spooky called Missing Hiker, which seems pretty spooky. Uh, hello! Thank you so much for the follow. Fun Tristan Sanchez. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, th thank you. Uh, thank you for the follow right before we wrap up. <laughs> um, yeah, but so we'll, we'll do days. Oh, just Tristan? Okay. Okay, I call you that. That is your name. Um, yeah, I, I, uh, uh, I wish I could give you guys like consistent days that I stream. <laughs> I mentioned during my debut, pretty much the only day I could guarantee that I won't stream is Tuesdays, which is very busy on Tuesdays. Um, and then Wednesdays are like half the time I might do it, half the time I don't. So really the best way to know if I'm streaming is, um, you know, follow me on Twitter <laughs> or follow me here and have like the little alert thing on. Um, and then, like I said, once I uh, look at the affiliate thing and then if I, like when I apply and everything, I know with affiliates you can like start putting individual schedules on there i think like right now i i could only do it like where i said like oh every tuesday's honkai or whatever which i can't do clearly um so then i'll try and update that pretty frequently here um yeah um but yeah thanks so much for listening to me ramble about anime for three hours fantastic i love anime <laughs> um but yeah so like i said i'll be on wednesday and stuff um hopefully i'll see you guys there but i think for now oh thank you so much yeah, I, from what I heard, affiliates a lot easier to get than um, partner. <laughs> uh, I hit the affiliate markers like about a week ago. Um, so like you have to hit like 50 followers. It's like something like three average viewers. Um, stream on like seven different days for like I think like 10 hours overall. It's not super crazy. Um, at least like I don't know. It's not like crazy. I know partner is a lot more demanding. But yeah, we'll, we'll apply for affiliate and then that way then I can unlock emotes that you guys can have and we'll get like channel points and stuff and like some all sorts of like fun new stuff. So exciting. Uh, but yeah, I think for now we'll go ahead and call it. <sighs> Nobody else I follow or I know is um streaming right now. I mean like Iron Mouse is, <laughs> but I, I don't think I'm ready there yet to... um uh. 
like stream like raid like a really really big <laughs> VTuber like Iron Mouse. Um well I mean like no as in um like I know of her and I watch her occasionally. Um so like I follow her and I like know her as a person. I catch her streams when I can and stuff like that. But not like know her like on a friend like level or anything like that. Like I've never spoken to her <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, I think I'm a little, too, I'm a little too scared still to like raid somebody as large as Iron Mouse and stuff. Um, yeah, I know she's super big into like the common writer and stuff. So yeah, for now, I think I'm a little too scared to, to like raid somebody so big. It's a little scary. Oh, hello. Welcome, Snack. I'm so sorry. We're about to wrap up for the night. It's a little late for me. It's my bedie by time. But thank you for stopping by and hopefully you can come by in the future for sure. Oh my god, thank you! I know, I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, I know, I've been going on for three hours talking about anime. It's like 2 a.m. for me. My voice is starting to die a little bit because I was like rambling. But thank you so much for coming. You know, if you hit that follow button, you'll be notified when I go live. Oh my god, you did it! <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, maybe you can catch me tomorrow. I was just telling everybody, um, I'm streaming uh not tomorrow oh my god uh wednesday sorry wednesday at like noon pacific time i'm doing some honkai and then thursday at like 9 p.m we're doing some more ghost wire um and then saturday we're doing a spooky game um honkai is at noon pacific time on wednesday and then um 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 yeah wednesday noon pacific time for some honkai and then thursday at 9 p.m pacific for ghost wire and then saturday we're playing a spooky game at 10 p.m Oh, that's Pacific Standard Time. That's um oh goodness. Let me let me go look to like GMT. What is that to GMT? Um It says oh what is it? How would you I think minus minus eight. Yeah, I think it's minus eight GMT is Pacific time, I think. Um, if you just go to Google and you look up like the time in Los Angeles, <laughs> that's probably the easiest way to do it. Um but yeah, like I usually will have the stream like up about like ten to f five to ten minutes before we actually start doing anything, so you'll probably get a notification. Oh, I just use like LA as like a like a it's like the most the biggest like West Coast city, right? So I just use that as like an indicator for people, especially for I have like some like EU people that stop by, so um yeah yeah pacific time is west coast so i just use um la as just like a marker for people because like if i go something like oh i know um i'm from timbuktu california people are gonna be like where the hell is like timbuktu california <laughs> yeah i know i'm sorry <laughs> um the the uh la west i thought east remember east on Oahu. no no west coast is california um uh but yeah, I tried to, um, I, I have at least one like earlier stream for me a week, um, usually, which works better for people in the EU. I know it's usually like 9 p.m. on Sawi's. Um, I also have a YouTube. I'm working on getting my VODs up. I have a lot of them downloaded. I just haven't had a time to um, um, oh, hydrate. Oh, I hydrate a lot. <laughs> we'll see if I ever do a hydrate redeem and stuff. Oh, I don't think Timbuktu is, like, a real place in California. I was just, like, thinking off the top of my head, what's, like, a city nobody's heard of from California? And then I was like, well, Timbuktu is probably <laughs> not even real. Um, but, yeah, I try to have one, like, earlier stream a week for me, and it kind of works for you EU guys, even though I know it's also still really late for you. Um, but I also have a YouTube channel where I try to put my VODs up. I'm a little behind. By a little, I mean, like, five VODs behind. <laughs> um, I'm trying to get better. I just had some issues the first couple streams, so I had to, like, piece together... Um, my VODs and stuff so it'll be like I have like 40 minutes and then for whatever reason I get like I'm sorry I don't have any of my commands oh god uh do a egg hey there it is there they are sorry <laughs> in my mind I was like oh AK okay, that works <laughs> I'll probably just have to make it socials or something um but yeah, yeah yeah I try to put them up on there I'm a little behind because uh, some of my first ones, it went like 40 minutes and then something happened where I got disconnected or chat had to be my tech support for a while and we had some issues. <laughs> so some of the VODs I'm having like piece together and then because of it, um, the render time takes a lot longer um, because of that. Um, 
because then I have to like put it into Vinky and like piece them together and then it has to like render as a new thing and sometimes it takes like an hour and a half to render because most of my streams are usually like two to three hours <laughs> and then once those render then I have to go to YouTube and then I have to upload them and sometimes they take like one to two hours to like upload to YouTube and then it still takes longer after that for them to like fully process to like have an HD version it's like a whole like probably in total like five hour ordeal for the ones I have to piece together and Thankfully, it, it's like a lot faster if it's a VOD where I don't have issues, <laughs> which I'm getting more and more that don't have issues. So like, thank God for that. <laughs> it's just that's part of the reason I'm behind on uploading the VODs. My model's kind of similar. Oh, my mo our mama is Mama Science. Maybe you've seen some of her other um, kids, my other, um, my, my, my V siblings. Let's see. What is, where, where is she? I'm trying to think who else she, she does. Um, let's see. Um, she also does Yui. Um, she's like a green-haired Oni, um, like Oni girl. Um, who else is uh, Mama? Oh, she also is a Mama to Sha Aspire, who does like a lot of Final Fantasy streams. Um, who else? Oh, she follows so many people. Oh God, Mama Cyan. Um. Let's see. Oh, let me go to her media tab, and then I can probably find people. Okay, Yui sleeps. Um, who else does she follow? Or who else does she? She also made a the model for Billa, which is like one of her um rigger friends. And Billa also did the rigging for my model, which is super awesome. And also is working on Mirix L's model. Um, who else? There's a, a really big one. I'm forgetting the name of. Oh God, I'm a bad V sibbing. Hello, welcome. I'm so sorry, guys. You came at the worst time. I'm wrapping up soon. <laughs> no, thank you for stopping by. Please don't leave me. Oh, God. Um, let's see. Miss Mina. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> I put a lot of stuff on. We were just, like, having some fun. Um, but, yeah, Ma Mama Cyan has, like, a lot of models. I also have a bee brother. Um, Sa Sasa. I feel bad. I, I haven't got a chance to hang out with him. I um, v siblings. It's just our, our hours are bad. And then my first month I was trying to be like solo streaming and then I was gonna maybe start reaching out to people for collabs and stuff cause, just because I wanted to see how streaming is and everything and um, like how I feel as like a streamer and stuff before I start bothering other people. <laughs> um, yeah, Sasa, he, he's um, one of the V siblings. There's not too many um, v, v boys and stuff like that. Um, then you're my siblings. Most of my V siblings are some pretty ladies. Nice ladies. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, like, I'm, o I'm open to most things. Um, I have a couple people in mind already that I'll probably, like, reach out to just because, like, I've talked to them a good amount of times and stuff before. So I figure those will be a little bit easier and stuff. Um, I saw some people do things where they do, like, open, um, collab sort of stuff. We'll see. Um, I wonder if there's a game I can find that uh, <laughs> might be like that. I know like people do that for like Apex or like Valorant and stuff. They do like open calls for tournaments and stuff. Um, those might be kind of fun. It just had to be a bigger party sort of game, I think. Um, which I don't play too many of those, honestly. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll we'll see. I'm, I'll reach out to a handful of people to start, and then I think I think we'll go from there. Like, probably, like, Hollow I'll probably reach out to. Oh, God, I hope he says yes. <laughs> he plays a lot of Apex, and he's really chill. He's just going to have to realize very quick how should I am at Apex. <laughs> um, and then Sai, he's really chill, too. I'd have to see if there's something he'd want to maybe do sometime. Um, and like I said, some of my V siblings. Um, we just have a lot of different time zones, so, like, that makes it hard to connect with a lot of the V siblings. Like... I think a couple of my V siblings are in the, the EU time as well, which, like I said, makes it pretty rough. <laughs> um, you know, it's, it's time zones. Ugh, that's so sad. Um, it's like, it's, it's time. Oh, okay, goodness, I said I was going to stop. Oh, God, I gotta stop. You guys make me talk so much. But yes, um, anyway, yes, like I said, um, 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 God, what am I, what am I streaming? Next time I'll be streaming is Wednesday with Honkai at noon Pacific time, which I think is GMT minus five, um, or look up, I don't know, Los Angeles. That's the, <laughs> that's the easiest city I can give you to <laughs> find Pacific time. Um, and then uh, I'll also be streaming 
Thursday at 9 p.m. Pacific time for some Ghostwire. That'll be our third session of Ghostwire. Been enjoying it. It's a little rough because the game didn't get ported very good, so it, it's pretty laggy at times <laughs> and pretty rough. Um, and then Saturday at 10 p.m. Pacific time, we're going to play a spooky scary game, which will be my first spooky scary game. Super exciting. Um, but yeah, um, unfortunately, I don't think there's anybody online that we can raid to, so we're probably just going to have to call it here. Um, oh, hello, hello, welcome, uh, solid Jake 97 I'm so sorry, I just saw your message, God. <laughs> sorry, some of you guys came, I, I, it's just, I know it's just time zones, but, uh, sorry, unfortunately, I will be going to beddy bye in just a little bit. Um, but yeah, okay, I hope you guys have a good day. If you can come by my other streams, that'd be lots of fun. Um, if not, if you just hit the little follow button, um, then you'll know when I'm around, and then we'll probably have more chatting streams in the future. This was, like, the first one. Um, yeah, but thank you guys so much for coming. I hope you have a good night. Get lots of sleep and water and snacks or doing whatever you need to do. Okay, goodbye everybody. Thank you for coming. Goodbye.